Cause every single thing is really two in one A little bit of this, a little bit of that And when you add it up, you get a lot of that Here we are, back for another visit to the wondrous land of Wood. Everyone is all excited because today is, uh, today is... Gee, where is every wuzzle? Oh, there they are, climbing them out. That's right, today is Wish Day. Hey, hey, not so fast, guys. Come on. It's only a little waste of the wishing well. Don't give up now. Besides, it's good exercise. I don't need exercise. I have the body of a beauty queen. Well, you better give it back. You're stretching it all out of shape. <laughs> I look forward all year to wish day. Me too. I'm going to wish that every day was wish day. Muso, I have a feeling my wishes will be granted this year. Almost there. Hey, Butterbear, do the rocks have hair on them? No. I've never heard of a rock with hair. In that case, I'm standing on a minor bear. Wah! Standing on a minor bear. Standing on a minor bear. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Look out! Uh oh, Bumble Lion's on a roll! I didn't know minor bears like the bowl. It's right up there, Ellie! <laughs> Sorry, Yellaru. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to being on the ground. I always think how great it would be not to be stuck on the ground. I wouldn't trip over or bump into things. If only I could really fly way up in the clouds. I'd settle for the top of this hill. Let's go! Well, while our heroes get themselves back together, I'll tell you all about Wish Day and how it works. You see, this is the Wuzzle Wishbone Wishing Well. And every year about this time, one lucky Wuzzle gets three wishes. These wishes go to the Wuzzle who has performed the most good deeds in the past year. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he's the one, though. Okay, I'm here for my wishes. Uh, my first wish is for ten more. Then I'll use those for thirty more. And then uh, <laughs> I'll corner the market on wishes. <laughs> yeah, I'll wish for all sorts of goodies. Oh, I'm starving. Yeah, that's right, Croc. What about the good deeds you need to earn wishes? <laughs> what do you mean? I've done hundreds. When Moosel was trapped in that cave, who let him out? Uh, Elru, you're the one who trapped him in. Details, details. A good deed was done, and I was involved. Huh? Now, I want my wishes. Croc, you have a lot of nerve. Wishes you do not deserve. Wishes are for those I like. Hit the road, Croc. Take a hike. You know, there's nothing worse than a sarcastic wishing well. Let's go, guys. When you wish upon a well, what will happen? Who can tell? If the Wuzzle's wish is true, only good fortune will come to you. If 
if I can't wish my way into lunch, I'll try plan B. Now hide. Well, well, it's the well. I thought the well was farther. Nope, here it is, and here comes my wish. Wait, the well is hungry. New rules, no lunch, no wishes. Got it? We have a picnic lunch. Fine, fine. Send it down. Okay, well, I want a new boat car, and a trip to Hollywood, and a pair of roller skis, and a ton of honey, and a... I'm sorry. Well, this is the express well. One wish or less. Next. What I wish for is to be... I'm sorry. We're all out of it. <laughs> Some wishing well this is. I would like... Sorry. Next. My wishes. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. What I'd like is to never see that ugly croc's face again. Hey, you don't have to get insulting. Do you? Uh, oops. <laughs> it's croc. Disguised as our wishing well. Eating our lunch. <laughs> Come on, guys. This well has to relocate. Fast. Come back with our lunch, croc. Bring back my tuna bird and tomato butter sandwich. Huh? Hey, guys. Guys, wait for me. Oh, oh. Oh, who can blame him? I'm just a clumsy old Ellaroo. Hey, Croc, share the lunch, huh? Here. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Croc, come back here. Oh, no! They found the deep end of the river. <laughs> Women and crops first. <laughs> Looks like crops gonna make a big splash. <laughs> He won't bother us again. For at least 20 minutes. We'll find a way to get more food from him. But Brad and I didn't get any food. That's because I do all the work. Now, stroke, stroke, stroke. That croc is lower than a saber-toothed snake's belly button. Do you have any food in your pouch, Ellaru? Ellaru? He's not here. I wonder where he went. Oh, I'm so clumsy. I could trip over a chalk line. If only my wings were strong enough to get me off the ground. There he is. <laughs> All right, Croc. You aren't fooling me with that wishing well disguise. Come on out, Croc. I know you're... Oh! Oh, help! Help! Is anyone out there? Anyone? Hmm. No one seems to be answering. Poor Ellaru. He really fell into it this time. Well, everything's right where we left it, which means Ellaru's still in deep trouble. Help! I'm trapped down here. Help! Help! I can hear no need to yell. Welcome to the wishing well. You've been so good, Ellaru. Three wishes I now grant to you. Really? I get a wish? Oh, can I wish myself out of this well? Wow, it worked. At granting wishes, I am deft. You now have two wishes left. Two more wishes? Hmm, I can't decide. T -t two wishes. While your second wish is dawning, check the sign out on my awning. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Oh, I don't understand. I mean... Yoo-hoo! Ellaru! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Oh, my friends are here. Could I have till tomorrow to figure out my second wish? Take until tomorrow morning, but do heed my honest warning.
Thank you, Mr. Well. You're welcome. <laughs> so, that's it, gang. I've got two wishes, and I don't know what to wish for. Oh, I can tell you. I know what you should what wish, for. wish for. Wait. Ellaru can make up his own mind. Butter Bear is right. Wish for whatever you want, Ellaru. Yeah, we won't interfere. Bumble Lion? Sorry, Ellaru, but I was thinking if those two wishes were mine. One would be for you in a motorcycle. Can you see it? Wouldn't it be terrific? Hmm. Maybe I should have wished for brakes, too. But I don't really want a unimotorcycle bumble lion. Oh, I gotta go. Someone's at my door. Who could it be now? Ellaru, I've just been thinking. I know what I'd wish for if I were you. My own TV show. And now, here's Hoppo. <laughs> A very, very nice hoppo. But show business would be too rough for me. Huh. Well, now that they're gone, maybe I'll have a dream about what to wish for. Good night, Reineke. Good. Reineke? In person. Milro, I've been thinking about it, and I know just what you should wish for. The biggest bag of tricks in the whole world. I just don't think that's the wish for me. Excuse me. Uh, hello? Hello, Roo. This is Moso. I was just thinking, I know the perfect wish for you. A mansion. Your very own castle with hot and cold running pinecone apple juice in the moat. All you could drink. But then, what if it started to rain? And what if the moat filled up? And the whole house is flooded with pinecone apple juice, and it went floating out to sea. Oh, that would be, would be awful. So, never mind. Well, now it's morning, and the time is approaching for Elleru to use up his two remaining wishes. Oh, I, I just don't know what to do. But maybe I should wish to know what I should wish for. <laughs> Hi, Ellaru. Want to go with us up to the fields to pick mush tomatoes? Hi, Butter Bear. Don't you want to tell me what I should use my wishes for? No, because then it'd be my wishes and not yours. Oh, my wings won't get me anywhere. I always wished I could really fly. Oh, that's it. That's my wish. Well, what's your wish? To fly. All my life I've been an earthbound Ellaru, tripping over things, but, but no more. I'm gonna fly. Ellaru, wait. Are you sure? Oh, why does this worry me? Look out, world. Make way for Ellaru, ace of the airways. Hey, Croc, he's heading for the wishing well. I want those wishes of his, and I think I know how to get them. <laughs> 
with those three after Ellaru's wishes. Let's hope he can hurry and wish his way out of this. Meanwhile, back at the old wishing well. So, my friend, you want to fly, soaring in the clouds and sky. But before you join the birds, read again my warning words. Oh, I read them. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Well, I want it. In that case, you're going to get it. Oh, I hope you don't regret it. A croc used up one more wish. He only has one left, and we have to make him use it for me. Yeah, use it for us. I meant us. It just came out me. Well, Mr. Well, I don't feel any different. What am I supposed to do? Flap my arms and... Oh. Oh, it worked. It worked. I got my wish. I can fly just like the minor bears. I can fly. Keep him in sight. We gotta get that last wish. Thanks, Mr. Well. I won't even need my third wish. Now I've got everything. I hope he likes the airborne neck. Soon he will be winging back. Ah, oh, those deer ducks sure have the right idea. Of course, they know to watch where they're going. Howdy, Mrs. Deer Duck. Fine day for flying, isn't it? Hi, fellow creatures of the air. Mind if I stop and rest my wings? Oh, maybe I need to lose a few pounds before I try this again. Look, up there in the sky. Is it a whale bird? Is it a yacht jet? No, it... It's Ellaroo. Sorry, guys. I have to work on my landings. Hey, where's Butter Bear and Hopopotamus? I want to show them I can fly. They went up to the fields to pick my tomatoes. That is up, up, and away. <sighs> you know, I liked him better when he just tripped over you instead of crash landing. Hey, what's the matter with you two? You look like an Ellaru just dropped out of the sky and landed on you. <laughs> He did. Uh, really? Oh. I just saw Croc and his bunch drive through town, heading for the Marshmallow Field. That's where Butter Bear and Hoppo are. There could be trouble. That's where Ellaru's heading. There, there could, could be, be big, big trouble. trouble. Let's get moving. We have a great crop of Marshmallows this year. Yummy. Marshmallows, they're delicious on burger fries. I think we've got enough. Yikes! Look, Butter Bear and Hoppo, I can fly. You mean you can crash? You wrecked our crop. So you're what's scaring all the birds off. They're all flying to other places. You mean that's on account of me? Yes. Now, will you please remove yourself from our crop? I'm sorry. The guys are probably mad at me, too for landing on them. Well, I'm sorry I snapped at him, but look at all the damage he did. Has Ellaru been here yet? Oh, I see he has. Ellaru Air Raid! Ellaru Air Raid! Take cover! Oh no, he's coming back! Let's hide! We'll be safe in here. Good. Now 
well keep them out of the way while I convince Ellaru to give me his third wish. You can do it, Bumble Lion. <sighs> no, he can't. Attention, Ellaru. Paging Ellaru. We're doomed. We're not doomed. We still have Ellaru. We're, We're doomed. doomed. Oh, the gang's all mad at me. Deer ducks are moving away. <laughs> oh, now I know what that sign meant. Be careful what you wish for. Mr. Well was right. Attention, Ellaru. Your friends have all moved away. Look around. You won't find them. He's right. I don't see them anywhere. Wishes are nothing but trouble. Give me your third wish and I'll get rid of it for you. He's right. I wish I hadn't wished to fly in the first place. That's your final wish, my friend. So your powers I now in. Croc! Do something! Get this creature off me! Well, we got rid of that excess baggage. I'm sorry, everyone. I guess Ella Roos weren't meant to fly. I've given it up for good. Goodbye. Where's he going? Ella Roo, hold it! Oh, you don't want me around. Not after all the trouble I've caused. Of course we do. You saved us. As long as you don't fly, you're fine with us. No, we like a guy with his feet on the ground. Even if he does trip once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 if you'll excuse the expression, <laughs> a happy ending. Looks like Ellaru's got everything a guy could possibly wish for, including no more wishes. Well, here we are again in the land of one, a place that's in a class by itself. Speaking of class, look at that classy limousine carrying. What's it doing here? What's all the hubbub, Bubs? We're wondering where that spiffy limousine carriage is going. Thank you, Bubbles. Mrs. Pedigree, won't you come in? <laughs> oh, I'm dying to find out what Mrs. Pedigree wants with Butterbear. As you know, Butterbear, I'm planning the social gathering of the year. But I could use your help with the guest list. Me? Yes, and I trust you'll invite the finest in was. Old money bags is tossing a big bash. Lots of munchies. Don't worry. I'll make this the best party ever. Uh, give generously for the chimp, sir. Personally, I think nothing of money. Good. That's exactly what I intend to give. I haven't seen anything so empty since I looked in my refrigerator. Yoo-hoo! Moosel and Ellaru, I've got something for you. Be down in a flash. Uh-oh. How would I look if I invited them to the party? Should have said, be down in a splash. What did you want to give us, Butter Bear? Uh, this. Bye. It 
like the new exploding doorbell? Oh, inviting Rhino Key to the party would be inviting trouble. What you want, Butter Bear? Oh, I wanted to give you a, a compliment on your new doorbell. It's a blast. I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. We're just making sure that our Watusas can still do the Watusi in case we get invited to any parties. Yeah, uh, well, if I hear of any, I'll be sure to let you know. Don't run off, Butter Bear. Best friend, old pal. Oh. Look, invitations to Mrs. Pedigree's party. Sorry, but none of you are invited. But how come? Please allow me, Butter Bear. Cause you slobs ain't got no class. Mm -hmm. um, Papa's right. What would Mrs. Pedigree think of me if I invited you? If I see to it that their manners are polished, can they come? Well, on one condition, Hoppo. Mm -hmm. What? That I sing and dance at the party? No, that you take a mm -hmm. class on class two. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, would you be interested in uh, free food sampling? Most certainly. <laughs> Delicious. Move on. Next. <laughs> Next time, I promise. Hmm. It looks like Butter Bear's garden is open for business. <laughs> it's amazing my head can be so full of ideas when my stomach's so empty. Why should I give you something to eat when all you give me is grief? Good reason, good reason. Hey, what's going on here? What are you doing with my apple cherries? Brat, I beg you to get yourself some help, not help yourself. Brat, that's so low. I've tried and tried to beat some manners into him. <laughs> That's right. With you as a teacher, no wonder he has no class. Hey, don't blame me. He's the biggest social misfit since Attila the Hungry. Even you couldn't help this slob was. Oh, I don't know. Deep, deep down underneath those scales, there's got to be a gentleman somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Brat, a gentleman? <laughs> Don't laugh at him. If I trained him, he'd be a gentleman in no time. You wouldn't want to bet two weeks' worth of lunches that you could pass him off as a gent at Mrs. Pedigree's party, would you? But that's no time. You see, you think he's hopeless, too. Or maybe you don't have enough class to teach him. You've got yourself a bet. <laughs> Looks like Butter Bear has a little work cut out for him. Make that a lot of work. It looks like Butter Bear is trying to teach old Brat some new tricks. Huh, this should be a treat. Okay, Brat. To be a gentleman, you must learn to help ladies cross the street. So take my arm, yeah. take both ways for traffic, then escort me across. Have you 
still got a lot to learn. Good morning, Butter Bear. Mr. Brat. Mr. Brat. Gracious Grizzly Gophers. That Butter Bear might be making headway after all. Maybe I better start looking for a new sidekick. Here it is, a sidekick quarterly. Excuse me. We need a book on manners and class. Obviously. Look, Book Breath, just show us the shelf and cut the lip. I bet that book's for Butter Bear and Brat. <laughs> Now's my chance to win that bet. Now for the old switcheroo. Bad manners for any occasion. <laughs> Here it is, How to Have Class. Uh-oh. If they read that book, they'll end up with worse manners than Brat. <laughs> First, we're going to learn how to properly greet a lady. Great! Find a lady and let's get started. <laughs> it says here, to leave a lasting impression when she holds out her hand, Give her a thumbs up, a dude slap, and not gifts. What? Uh, are you sure you have the right book? Everything there is to know about class is in this book. So start getting classy. Well, the book's right. I left a lasting impression. <laughs> now we're going to learn table manners. But you've got to try harder, Brat. Promise? Okay. First, your napkin. Brat? Would you pass me a porky drumstick, please? Uh-uh-uh. Thank you. You're making progress. Now enjoy your dinner. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Is the mail croc? Uh, nothing but Phil. Where are the responses to my ad in Sidekick Quarterly? Looks like I'm the only one on your side there to kick around, eh? Yeah, things just aren't the same around here without Brad. Hey, cheer up, Croc. What do you say you and me go pull the herd of gurdy sham? I'll fill in for Brad. Look. <laughs> nah, not today. Uh, how's about the free food sampling bit? <laughs> You're pushing your luck, lizard lips. Keep it up and I'll be using your picture for a dart board. Now. We're going to learn classy table manners. When eating soup, impress the host by picking up the bowl with both hands. Then, heartily slurp the soup. Really? It's here in black and white. I've been slurping for years. I never realized how classy I was. Brad, are you brushing your teeth like a gentleman? Croc was right. You're hopeless. Poor thing. You need a mother. <coughs> well, I'll treat you like a mother if you try to be a gentleman. <coughs> oh, <laughs> you sure know how to butter up this bear. Let's try again. Surely Butter Bear's given up on Brad by now. <laughs> I'll get my sidekick back and win that bet in one fell swoop. Excuse me, is that goon? Uh, <clears throat> is Brat here? Brat? Cut the upper crust routine. It's time to go home now. <laughs> if you come home, you can have your own room. 
Yes, it'll have a roof. <laughs> Be nice to you. I'm always nice to you. <laughs> Look, I'm giving you two out of three, so will you come back? <laughs> no way I'm gonna let that wuzzle lose me all those lunches. Of course, I could always fix things at Mrs. Pettigree's party. <laughs> Hmm, I have the feeling if Croc fixes that party, it's going to end up broken. Hey, 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 take a peek at Mrs. Pettigree's castle scrape. Only the cream of the crop are showing up to this party. And, of course, the cream of the Croc. Nerve of that Pettigree day not inviting us. I always invite her to my parties. Yeah, but Croc, you never had a party. Don't bore me with details. Help me with ideas on how to crash this shindig. Is that one of your ideas that stinks? Or this trash? <sighs> trash. <laughs> Put on your crash helmet. We're gonna crash the party. Okay, guys, remember what we learned about a classy entrance? Right. Hop one, hop two, go! Yes? Excuse me. Rhett the butler coming through. The butler is already here. Who are you? Uh, the butler's butler. And who is he? My butler. Shh! This guy's more stupid than you are. Mrs. Pedigree, I'd like you to meet Sir Braticue Reptilicus. <laughs> oh, enchanted, I'm sure. Gentlemen, it's so good to see you. The pleasure's mine. I'm mine. That's my own touch of class. <laughs> Hoppopotamus, how gracious of you to come. Uh, want some grub? Uh, 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 hors d'oeuvres, ladies? Help yourself, Hoppo. There's plenty. Even enough for you. When at a party, show your appreciation by eating lots and smacking your lips. Mm. Lip smacking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me, how do you eat like that and keep such a girlish figure? Family secret. Aren't you the boys who checked out the book on good manners? We sure are. Look what we learned. I don't believe my eyes. I know. We're the classiest guys at the party. Oh, gross. A cop. Didn't Butterbear teach you any manners? I'm sorry, Mr. Reptilicus. I saw the whole thing. He did it on purpose. Here, dump this punch bowl. There you are, Braticue. Care to escort me to the buffet table? I'm shocked. I'm appalled. I'm mortified. Oh, oh. Stick around, Book Breath. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now remember your table manners, brat. Is throwing that going to make your tail feel better? Uh-uh-uh. Poor Braticue, let's put a bandage on your boo-boo. Darn, just when I thought I was on a roll. Why, I'd 
love to wuzzle waltz, thank you. I gotta pound some sense into Brad. Now all I need are the pounds. Uh, why don't you just go out there and uh, step on his tail? Because if Butterbear finds out it's me, I lose the bet. Huh? Diggity. There are the pounds I've been looking for. Excuse me, madam. Care to cut the rug? We can lay card later. Let's dance. <laughs> Every party has a pooper. Why, you wound me with your accusation, sir. All right, all right, I admit it. But I only did it to get you back. You wanted Brad back? Well, it just isn't the same without him around. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, don't ever do that. <laughs> Well, the party's ruined. I wanted my friends to have class, and they look like clowns. Oh, sorry, Butterbear. We'd be classier, but we only got through the first chapter of the book. What book? Bad manners for any occasion? Oh, dear. None of this would have happened if I hadn't asked you to class up your acts. Butterbear, dear, someone with real class accepts her friends as they are. You mean, you didn't expect us to be classy? I expected you to be yourself. Mrs. Pedigree is right. I apologize. You mean we don't have to be classy anymore? Just be yourself. Oh, well. I guess I'll get home and start cooking Croc's lunches. Nothing fancy. A spread like Mrs. Pedigree had will do. You're not leaving until this place is cleaned up. Me? You're the butler. Cancel those lunches, Butterbear. This'll take a few weeks. Well, as usual, everything's back to being wacky and was. Crocs left holding the bag, but at least this is a tale with a happy ending. Ah, nice to be back again in the wonderfully curious land of was. Get a look at those clouds. Hmm. I'd say the Wuzzles are in for some nasty but colorful weather today. Looks like some change in the weather. I'll take mine in nickels, dimes, and quarters. <laughs> I prefer applause, but thunder clapping will do. <laughs> it's the worst I've ever seen. Why, it might rain for Maybe we should build a ark. Now, Musso, you promised that if I stayed with you, you wouldn't exaggerate. Well, don't just stand there. Start building. <laughs> Gotta get busy. 
gotta be ready for these tropical fruit storms. Well, not every Wazzle is getting ready. Are you rumbling again? Say, <laughs> what's all the ruckus about? Sorry, Croc, but there's a tropical fruit storm coming, and this roof's a wreck. Oh, bullfinch feathers. Well, that houseboat's as sturdy as this hammock. It'll take more than a little old storm to ruin it. That does it. I think I'll try my favorite shopping center. Will that be all, Butter Bear? Oh, this should get me through the storm. Well, you better skedaddle before the fruit starts dropping. This shopping center doesn't have enough food to make a snack for a flat. This might come in handy. This pathetic umbrella has more holes than a mile of Swiss cheese bread. My umbrella! It's gone! Excuse me, Butter Bear, my dear. Surely you're not caught in this approaching deluge without an umbrella. Oh, hi, Croc. I have one right here. I, I wonder what could have happened to it. Some thief probably stole it. Here, you may have mine. Why, Croc, this is so unlike you. Thank you. But what will you use? Yours. I mean, you're not to worry about me. Now get along now before you catch cold. <laughs> Done my good greed for the day. Hmm, another was oddity. Melon cherry rain. Around here, no one ever goes hungry on a rainy day. Some resourceful wuzzles are well prepared for such rainy days, while others are fully prepared to do nothing. Ugh, this is terrible. It could be worse. It could be raining coconut melons. <laughs> Uh-oh. I told you two to fix this roof. Hmm, they just don't make cardboard roofs the way they used to. Now where am I gonna go? Here, bird doggy. Nice bird doggy. There must be some way to get that bird dog out and old croc in. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Are you the bird dog of the house? <laughs> Quick, there's no time to delay. You better get out of here before Wuzzle Beach fills up. Now, how long do you suppose it'll take that bird dog to realize he's been fooled by Croc? <laughs> A little tight, but comfy. Some gratitude. And after I was kind enough to house sit for you. Excuse me, Butter Bear, but I was wondering if you could suggest a nice rock I could crawl under to wait out this storm. Why, Croc, even you don't belong under a rock in this weather. Oh, yes. Otherwise, my cold might get... <laughs> worse. 
Well, you were kind enough to give me your only umbrella today. You can stay here, but just until the storm passes. Oh, no, sweet thing. I wouldn't think of imposing myself on you. I'll survive this storm somehow. Well, I know of a big rock out back. But if you insist... Care for some hot moco cocoa and some honeyberry biscuits? <laughs> hot diggity! <clears throat> I mean, if you're sure it isn't a bother. Not really. It'll be nice to have some company during the storm. Even if it's only you. Hmm. Having croc around the house could be the start of something big. Big trouble. A big croc full of trouble, you might say. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Hey, what's going on here? How come it's only raining on Butter Bear's house? There's just no sign of this nasty storm letting up. How strange. Most wuzzles just talk about the weather, but these two are actually doing something about it. They're faking it. How's it going, Brat? <laughs> Is your cold any better? Yeah, I feel terrific. I mean, why if you hadn't let me stay here, I'd have caught fruit on you by now. Well, I must go can some fruit in the cellar. What are you doing here? Why aren't you pitching a storm like I told you? Uh, we've only got enough fruit for a drizzle. Yeah, shower at most. Mm, looks like I'm going to have to come up with another plan to make myself welcome a little longer. So listen to this. Uh-oh. When Croc puts his mind to something, it usually means trouble. What a what? Are you all right? Oh, it's only insufferable pain, Butter Bear. Nothing for you to worry your pretty head about. I already called the paramedics. Uh, did someone call for a paramedic? Will he be all right? Uh, does it hurt when I do this? Yeah! Yeah, don't do that! How bad is it? Looks like we'll have to operate. Oh, dear. You better go inside. This won't be pleasant. No! 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 I'm ordering this patient to bed for the next six weeks. Yes, of course. I'll see to it Croc has the best care possible. Thank you, dear lady. In no time, I'll be strong enough to run my errands. Errands? Oh, Croc, you're in no condition. You're right. It'd be so nice of you to run them for me. Wow. I better get going right away. This may take a while. As long as you're going out, would it be a bother to roll me out on the porch for some fresh air? Oh, yeah. This is much better. Uh, just a little farther should be fine. And watch the bumps. <sighs> yes, I'm sure the air will be even fresher up on top of this hill. Butterbear, what's the matter? You look too poop to party. I am. My house guest is very demanding. <laughs> Hey, what's that freeloader Croc doing here? Oh, Bumble Lion, don't be so suspicious. Croc did me a favor. Now I'm doing one for him. We gotta convince her that Croc is only conning her. I'm going to the market for you, Croc. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> you call yourself a refrigerator. Fourteen lunches and you're empty. 
Surely Butterbear has an extra supply stashed away somewhere. Hot diggity paradise cellar. Oh, so rich and creamy. Rich? And what's with the holes in the floor, Croc? My alibi. So make sure to get some of my tongue-tingling, snout-smacky, newfangled melon cherry juice. To get yours, stop by 1515 Lazy Bones Lane. Thank you. You're gonna love it. Yes, you're gonna love it. Step right up now. Don't be shy. Just what I thought. Croc's house. Okay, you can cut the phony disguise with me, Croc. Croc? Oh, no, no, no. I'm Croc's brother, Wilfred. Wilfred? Don't you believe me? Sure I do. I'll even give Croc your regards, because I'm going to Butter Bears to visit him right now. Hey, Rhinoki, buzz me over to Butter Bears fast. <laughs> Where's... Uh, Croc? I'm telling you, he's up to no good. And when I open this door... Oh! The only thing you'll see is an empty bed with Croc sound asleep. Croc? See, I told you, it's not well. But... but... Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right. Don't be silly. Now Croc needs his rest. Let's see. I need three jars of melon cherry, two bottles of lemon lime soda. Oh no! Where's all my food? Oh, you poor thing. They must have wiped you out too. Who did? The mole hogs. They burrow their way up through the floor and eat everything inside. Really? It's never happened before. Oh, they're real bad this year. Oh, what am I gonna do? It'll cost a lot of money to replace everything. Now, don't fret, sweet thing. Old Croc is here to help. Oh, Croc, I never knew you had such a generous nature. How can I repay you? Don't worry, I'll think of something. <laughs> Butterbear? Don't you have a whole cellar full of food already? Not anymore. Croc said the mole hogs got in and ate all my supplies. Croc said? Wait a minute. So that's what he's up to. I think I know just who those mole hogs might be. See, Butterbear? It was Croc who stole everything from your cellar. He's been faking all along. Oh, that Croc. He's been using me all along. And after I treated him just like his own mother. No, you didn't. His own mother threw him out. <laughs> Which is what I intend to do. That patient has worn my patience thin. No, Bumble Lion. That's too good for him. I have a better idea to really teach Croc a lesson. You do? Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best practical joke I've ever heard. Wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> when last we left, it looked like Butterbear and her friends were about to give Croc some medicine he'd find hard to swallow. Uh-oh. It looks like Croc's up to something, too. Uh, you look good in polka dots, boss. <laughs> Here. Now make like ghosts and disappear. But don't go too far away. I may need the paramedics again. Oh! Oh, Croc, oh, you look terrible. And I feel oh so terrible. I must have caught the tropical goobly wuzzles. The tropical goobly wuzzles? I've never heard of that before. Oh, it's very rare. It's caused by overexposure to tropical fruit. I must have been overexposed after I gave you my only umbrella. Well, don't you worry, Croc. I'll make sure you get everything you deserve. Croc, old boy, you are a genius. A sheer genius. The tropical goobly wuzzles? There's no such disease. 
there is now. <laughs> oh, boy, time for that practical joke. It sure is. If Croc wants us to think he's sick, then let's treat him like he's really sick. <laughs> Butter Bear, what, what's up? Oh, Croc, I checked into that disease, the tropical goobly wuzzles, and it's much more serious than I thought. But don't you worry. I have some medicine cooking in the kitchen that should be just perfect for someone with your problem. Hmm. It looks like Croc actually caught something he only thought he made up. And I wonder what Butter Bear is cooking up in the kitchen. This garlic radish and pepper onion sauce should tangle up Croc's taste buds. <laughs> Here, how about some of this liver spinach? Perfect. Is the medicine ready yet? Here, Moosel, you test it. It's ready. Nothing I hate more than medicine, but if you made it, I'm sure it'll tickle my taste buds. Oh, it will. I made it especially for you. Uh-oh. Did I make it too hot? Yeah! Hot? <laughs> my tongue could start a forest fire. <laughs> to you. You're not breathing well. I have to put an onion mustard pack on your chest to clear your lungs. Why, that looks like the making for a sandwich. <laughs> See? You're breathing better already. Now we've got to do something about those spots on your face. Oh, don't trouble yourself, dear lady. I really don't feel that bad. Oh, you will. If you don't let me take care of you, that is. I might have to get rid of those spots. But... How about a massage to help your sore muscles, Croc? Oh, that sounds delightful. How does that feel, Croc? That bed doesn't have the proper orthopedic support. You'll sleep like a baby Krakosaurus in this bed as soon as I figure out these darn buttons. Not that one! Hmm? Maybe this one. Whoa! Nope. Not that one either. <laughs> oh, poor Croc. Are you all right? I'm leaving. But you're not well yet. Yes, I am. I've been faking all along. Oh, dear. He's got the dancing deliriums. That's the last stage before the end. The end? We can't let him leave now. What are you doing? Help! I want out! I'm being crocked now! Here, you need more medicine. Oh, no, I'm not taking that again. Oh, yes, you will. I think Croc's just about had enough. <laughs> Are we ready for the grand finale? As soon as he's asleep. Flizzard! Mm -hmm. What took you so long? Ah, uh, we, uh... Never mind. Just get into your paramedic outfits and get back here to get me out of here. Right, boss. Come on, brat. There's no place like home, even if it doesn't have a roof. It's getting worse. Croc, you must have caught upside-down-itis. What? The only cure is more tropical googly-wuzzle medicine. No, not that. Run away, Croc! Ribbit, 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 ribbit. 
No, no, mother bear. No, 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 no more medicine. No, no. Hey, you goofs on the roof. This is no time for games. Fix those holes before... This just is my day. It's often been said, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. But in Croc's case, it should read, be it ever so crumble, there's no place like home. Well, here we are. Back in the land of Was for another wonderful adventure. Hoppo is trying out for the Wuzzletown Ballet Company. Fasten your seatbelts. Hmm. It seems our ballet star has a case of butter fleas in her stomach. This is my big break, auditioning for C.C. Goose Bear. He's the greatest ballet director in the world. Relax, Hoppo. Ellaru and I will be right next to you for support. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm kind of clumsy. Okay, remember, this ballet is called The Dying Swan Pig. It's a classic. Just do everything I do. Everything you do. Got it? Got it. Got it. Let's get on with this audition. I don't have all day. Hey, Bumble Lion, Rhinoke isn't here. Gee, I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he stopped off at the dock on the way here, and maybe pirates grabbed him and he was Shanghai to see, and maybe... Maybe he's just late. Or maybe he's just late. All right, all ready. Come on, Hoppo. I'm a busy, busy goose bear. Uno momentito, senior goose bear. The maestro is warming up the orchestra. Hit the music, Ellaru. <laughs> Oh, bravo, brilliant, for such grace, especially for such a big girl. It was so dangerous. <laughs> this is gonna be the greatest practical joke of all time. Good old itching powder. Let's see if Hoppo's dance is up to scratch. <laughs> all I have to do is take perfect aim. Perfect aim? This is Hoppo. How could I miss? <laughs> to do that? We agreed. Every wuzzle, itch in time. Did 
Mr. Gooseberry agree to give me another audition? Yes, he said on one condition. What was the condition? Something about the Wuzzle Desert freezing over. I itch all over. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Rhinoki. <laughs> I, I knew you had an itch for fame, Hoppo, but oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hoppo, as far as your talent is concerned, you haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> Rhinoki, how could you? Yeah, that was a pretty cruel joke, even for you. What if she'd hurt it herself? Look, well, come on, where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Sense of humor? Where's your sense of decency? She's right, Rhinoki. That was a pretty mean trick. It was just a joke, just trying to have a little fun. <laughs> oh, that was rotten, even for him. He's so rash. Oh, sorry, Hoppo. I didn't mean to. We've got to do something about Rhinoki's practical joke. A brilliant scheme. What? That's what we need. A brilliant scheme. You know, if someone played a practical joke on Rhinoki, he wouldn't like it. I can't think of a joke, but I'd love to give him a punchline. So we need a practical joke then. Yeah, a practical joke. But it's got to be a good one to fool Rhinoki. Yeah, it's got to be a good one. Musil, will you quit mocking me? Oh, sorry, Bumba Lion. Wait, that's it! Musil, what a great idea! Yeah, isn't it, though? What idea? Mocking! We'll get Rhinoki a mockingbird dog. They can imitate anything. Oh, neato idea! Good going, Musil! Oh, great! Neat idea! Good going, Musil! Thank you. Simply put, a mockingbird dog is an imitative creature that's half mockingbird, half dog, and can drive you half out of your mind, which is about to happen to Rhinoki. May I help you? Yeah, we'd like the loudest, nastiest mockingbird dog you have. Come again. You want a mockingbird dog? Really? You're serious? Take two, please. I'll pay you. Honest. Oh, thank you very much. But all we need is one. Somebody wants one. <laughs> Are you sure you want the loudest, nastiest one I've got? Yes. yes. And I thought I was losing my marbles. Why Mohawk? He doesn't seem loud and nasty to me. That's because he's on his break. He'll scream for 23 hours and 50 minutes straight. Then he takes a 10-minute break and starts right up again. How long till he starts again? I'd say in about five minutes. And we'd better hurry. Thanks a lot, Mr. Beaverbuck. How about taking one more? Just one, please. Free, please. Now. One down and 63,285 mockingbird dogs to go! Are you sure this will work, Bumble Lion? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Rhinoki's never gonna forget today. They say you can't teach an old bird dog new tricks. But look out, Rhinoki. This is a young bird dog. Well, here we are, waiting for Rhinoki to discover that basket on his porch. And when he does, I bet he'll be a basket king. Hmm, what can I use for my next trick? Uh, joy buffers? Mm -hmm. Pony ice cubes? Mm -hmm. Imitation meat? <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. Hurry, he's coming. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm, that's strange. 
What's this? A picnic on my doorstep? And I wasn't invited? <laughs> hey, there's a puppy bird dog in here. What a strange meal for a picnic. <laughs> Dear Rhinoki, I've gone to store. Please take good care of my baby mockingbird dog. Sign Mama Mockingbird Dog. P.S. We'll be back in 30 or 40 years. Oh, terrific. He's falling for it. Let's see how he likes being on the receiving end for a change. Welcome to the peace and quiet of my house. You know, everyone says that mockingbird dogs are so noisy and troublesome. Well, not my little buddy. He hasn't made a peepee up yet. <coughs> oh, maybe I was wrong. Wow, maybe I was wrong. I didn't know mockingbird dogs could talk. I didn't know mockingbird dog could talk. He's not only loud, he's a copycat fish. He's a copycat fish. Whoa! Hey, is that any way to be a guest in someone's house? Hey, is that any way to be a guest in someone's house? Uh -oh. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, did you see Ryan Oki's face? <laughs> this is one lesson he'll never forget! <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little nasty to me. Hey, he deserves it. And it isn't over yet. Come on. We'll, we'll lose him in there for sure. Hey, what are you doing? Lemay? At last, some peace and quiet. At last, some peace and quiet. Now, I only have one thing to say to you, my love. Not again! doing here? <laughs> Enjoying ourselves. <laughs> oh, I get it. You left them at my house. Well, this isn't funny. That darn mockingbird dog is driving me nuts old. What's the matter, Rhinoki? Is he getting under your skin? Yeah. Where's your sense of humor? That's what I said earlier. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh. We hope you learned your lesson. It doesn't feel good to have tricks played on you. I still think it was a mean thing to do to poor Rhinoki. Relax. He got the message. They're right. I don't deserve friends like them. They're right. I don't deserve friends like that. <laughs> I've been a rotten friend. You've been a rotten friend. Ha! I don't deserve friends at all. I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Dear Everyone, I am going to live in Echo Was Canyon where I won't bother anyone. Goodbye. Signed, Rhinoki. Yes. We'll be back in 30 or 40 years. <laughs> mm, that laugh.
that worries me. with the first pound. Now, the next day was a perfectly normal, average day around Wood, until about 9 a.m. I hope the mail's here. I don't remember ordering that. <laughs> like no one's safe from the mad mockingbird dogs. I thought mockingbird dogs were so cute. Cute? Oh, we've got to do something. A brilliant scheme. What? what? We need another brilliant scheme. Oh, I hope this one works out better than the one to teach Rhinoki a lesson. Rhinoki. I'd rather have him around than these crazy mockingbird dogs. Oh, that's it. Rhinoki. That's who we need? Ellaru's right. He's the only one who can out-joke the mockingbird dogs. But don't you want to hear my brilliant scheme? No. Good idea. Only one small problem. Going to live in Echowas Canyon, where I will never bother anyone else again. Goodbye. Signed, Rhinoki. P.S. Be back in 30 or 40 years. Oh. I knew we went too far. We've got to find him and bring him back. And we had better hurry. Now, Echo Was is one of the nicer places on Was. Especially if you're a cow. Isn't speaking to me. Oh no! No! Rhinoki, you have to do something. I left town. Wasn't that enough? We need your help, Rhinoki. This is another trick to get even with me. We need you to help get rid of the mockingbird dogs. Here's your chance to redeem yourself. You mean 
You're not all still mad at me? E even you, Hoppo? Tell him, Hoppo. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We'll need some wood, and nails, and fencing. Now, Bumble Lion, you get your truck and... <laughs> now, step right up, folks. Now, get your party favors right here. Uh, jokes of all sizes. Guaranteed to annoy your friends beyond belief. We've got your squirting banana bagels. We've got your exploding cheese pickles. Uh, get them right here. <laughs> That's all of them. Congrats, Rhinoki, and welcome back. <laughs> what are we gonna do about them? <laughs> they don't like being cooped up in cages. Who would? That's probably what made them so crazy in the first place. Well, I've got an idea where they could be happy and not bother us. They don't like hearing themselves. Wow. Bringing them to Echo Woods Canyon was a great idea, Butterbear. Yeah, the only folks they can annoy out here are each other. Well, Rhinoki, are you ready to come back to town? Ready, and I'll never play another practical joke again. Let's go. Just a sec. I want to pick this beautiful flower. <laughs> Rhinoki! I'm sorry, old habits are hard to break. <laughs> it was a joke, can't you take a joke? I mean, it was just a joke for goodness sake. <laughs> oh well, some things never change. Oh well, some things never change. <laughs> Here we are, another day, another adventure in the land of was. Hmm, looks like something's shaking here. Maybe this is what Rhinoki's getting all shook up about. Hoppo's square break dance. Now bow to your partner and here we go. One, two, three, and do -si do Now swing your partner round and round and throw on the backs and spin them around. Alaman left, Alaman right, hands to the hips, have a slam dance night. Do a little dancing? Not now. I just declared Earthquake Prevention Week. That isn't me. A tornado's coming. A tornado's coming. Russell's right. Look. A tornado is what happens when a swarm of humbugs come together. And humbugs are what you get when hummingbirds and locusts come together. Twenty-one. This is no time to be hanging around. A tornado's coming. Yikes! Rhinoki's not joking. Hello, is this the Bug Off Exterminator Company? Yes, Doctor P. U. Speaking. Humbugs! I'll get my tail right there. This is the biggest humbug I ever saw. Mm. 
I'm not sure if these are hot bugs or ham bugs. Will it take you long to get rid of them? Oh, I'd say, uh, about a year. A, a year? year? <laughs> Humbugs are a humdinger of a problem. I suggest you wasn't folks leave town. Take a vacation until I'm finished. Leave town? But where will we go? Uh, how about Wuzzle Stone Park? That sounds like fun. We'll all go together. So let's get packing. But remember, pack light. Oh, let's see now. Can't forget my tusk brush. And maybe a sandwich for a snack. Oh, there. All packed. Well, I thought we agreed to pack light. I can't leave my delicate jelly bean plant. Last one, Rhinoki. Let's hurry to Moosel's house before these humbugs drive me crazy. Moosel, we said pack light. Oh, I thought you said pack the lighthouse. Oh, and we haven't even gotten to Hopples yet. When she packs a lunch, she has to rent a trailer. Is that all you pack? Of course. The bare essentials. Where should I put them, Rhinoki? Them? Rhinoki? Your car's all packed, Croc. Just like you wanted. Good. Now, let's get out of here. Whatever happened to the days when soul food didn't mean shoe soul? What in tarnation is that? Your car's all packed up. I think somebody packed up your brain. Now, uncrate my coop. Finally, the last one. Not quite. Can't forget my telephonograph. No way! We're leaving town for some peace and quiet. Listen, horn face. If this doesn't go, I don't go. Good. See you next year, Hoppo. Uh oh. Looks like Hoppo got left behind. But not far behind. It's always sad to leave home, even if it is in a wagon. I think Scrooge said it best when he said, Bah, humbugs. Welcome back again to the Wuzzles' new home away from home, Wuzzle Stone Park. Uh-oh, maybe this won't be their new home after all. Park full, no vacancy. Now what'll we do? Oh. We'll just have to find another place to stay. Let's move them out, Rhinoki. And watch those bumps. They bruise my potamus. No vacancy. No vacancy. No vacancy. Wuzzle Gulch. This place is probably full, too. We'll be cooped up in this cab forever. Well, it looks like a nice, quiet town. I'll check out the inn. Think I'll check out the general store. I haven't eaten in minutes. Me too. Me three. Me five. I was never good at arithmetic. Hello? Is anybody here? Bumblelion, please show some class. Ring the bell. Hey, how's about some service around here? Come on, let's see if we can find somebody. Ooh, looks like this place is <laughs> having a sale on cobwebs. Well, where do you think everybody is? They're gone, silly. This is a ghost town. I say, when in a g -g 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 ghost town, do as the g -g -g ghosts do. Yeah, disappear. <laughs> oh, 
let's get out of here, Bumble Lion. Wuzzle Gulch is a ghost. I can't even say it. Ghost town? Who believes in ghosts anyway? There's no way I'm staying in this dusty, spooky place. Run! Everybody in the cab! Hop on into your wagon! Of course, a dust job could do this place wonders. Come on, let's try it. The town will be ours. It'll be a scream. Hallelujah. Maybe I can get a fill up here. Good. We're too pooped to push much further. <laughs> I meant my stomach. No extra money for gas. Go find me some grub. <laughs> This driving's left me plumb tuckered out. Bunny Bear will love this cool paint. Ready for some pie, Moosel? Mm -hmm. Yum! What kind is it? A Western Wuzzle favorite. Lizard gizzard pie with cactus cockle crust. Want more? Uh, no thanks. We've been lizard lions. What's that? So how do you like my speedy new cab? It's 30 miles to a bale of hay. <laughs> no one can call you Pokey Rhinoki. Hey, where's Hoppo and Ellaru? Well, climb aboard, y'all, and we'll rustle them up. Yummies! Well, howdy, folks. What'll it be? The usual? Yep, around a root berry shakes. Where's Hoppo, Ellaru? Don't y'all mean where's Honky Tonk, Hoppo? Get it, Ellaru! Her show was never floppo Cause she kicked up a hoot And sang up a song And they called that gal Honky Tonk Papo <laughs> With your talent You should be on the stage, Hoppo The next one leaves in an hour <laughs> uh, Hey, Croc <laughs> oh, 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 my dream came true so, so what else you find in town? Uh, nothing. It's a ghost town. I saw Bumbo Ryan and his friends there. Really? What's that on your head? Gracious grizzly gophers, you've got gold fever. Oh, no. Is it contagious, Croc? Sure is. I just hope Bumble Lion and his friends haven't caught it yet. Should I see a doctor? No, you boob. You don't get sick from gold fever. You get rich. And if there's gold in this town, I want it all to my selfish. <laughs> ourselves, ourselves. <clears throat> now, here's my ghostly plan. But I'm telling you, Ellaru, when we got back to the store, all Butterbeer's pies were gone. Ghosts ate them. Oh, now, Musso, don't go trying to scare me again. Oh, get your bubble wire. <laughs> See? No ghost. It was just your imagination, Musso. But I heard it playing the piano. Yeah, and I heard his imagination, too. Look, it's just a player piano jukebox. It's supposed to play by itself. I think you guys have watched too many scary movies. I got the fever. Now give me the gold. <laughs> we scare them, Croc. But they aren't leaving. Hmm. If at first you don't succeed, frighten them again. How's about giving a lady a ride in that there stage? Sure. I'll be back as soon as I find one. <laughs> Let's move it, Rhinoki. Honky Tonk Hoppo's in a hurry. 
Is Hoppo auditioning for another play? No. Ghost. Hi, old Slither. Away. Whoa, Slither. Whoa. A ghost, huh? See, Moosel, it was only a sheep and this dummy. And it wasn't a very funny joke, Rhinoki. Of course not. It wasn't my joke. Then whose was it? Oh, is, is that a ghost joke, too? It's not a real ghost. It figures. Cracks cronies. Yeah, real ghosts look like that. Uh-oh. This ghost town is haunted by poultry geists. Uh-oh is right. These poultry geists are ghosts that are half polar bear, half chicken, and have our friends half scared out of their mind. Where were we? Oh, yes. Yeah. The Wuzzles were being pursued by some mean-looking trick-or-treaters. Yikes! Run for it! Oh, quick, Rhinoki, start the cab! Wait a minute! Hold it, every Wuzzo! We can't leave! Remember, we have no place to go! We can't let a bunch of little old poultry guys scare us, can we? Yes! Oh. Either the ghost go, or we go. Good idea! We'll call in some ghost rustlers. Crack! Crack! Careful fools, can't you see them digging for gold? Real What do you mean, real ghosts? The only real ghosts around here will be you if you don't chase Bumbleye and his friends out of town. Who's <laughs> two? Life sure would have been easier if I was born rich instead of so handsome. Last one to trap a ghost is a rotten eggplant. Yoo-hoo! Hi there, tall, dark, and transparent. <laughs> Follow me. Hot doggies! Give me your pretty young thing. <laughs> Get away from me, you beast, or whatever you used to be. Gotcha now! You've got trouble, that's what you've got. Come on, Hoppo, this is our big chance. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Call it, you big poultry bullies. What did we ever do to you? Yeah, we were going to ask you critics the same thing. You ought to be ashamed. Ever since you Goodlands got here, we've been at our wit's end. Yeah, tearing up the town? Who does you young whippersnappers think he is, anywho? I should have known. Where Brad and Flizzard are, a crock of trouble follows. Hey, crock isn't one of us, but we'll make it up to you, and I think I know how. This is the way we dig for gold, dig for gold, dig for gold. Well, fancy meeting you here, Bumble Lion. That's Sheriff Bumble Lion to you. And the meeting's over. This town isn't big enough for both of us, especially at the rate you're tearing it up. Oh, yeah? And how are you gonna make me leave, Pee-wee? 
in a western showdown if you're wuzzle enough for it. I reckon I am. I'll even give you a fighting chance. You choose the weapon. Uh, oh, we don't have any. Then I keep digging. Wait, shall we say pies at pie new? Get your bib ready. You stooges, uh, dudes know what to do. I know. like I hold the upper hand, uh, I after all. <laughs> now, the new sheriff is telling y'all to get out of town before sunset. There's gonna be gold in this ghost town somewhere. Yeah, that does it. I don't care how mean and ugly that crock is. Nobody's a tearing up my end. Come on, gang. We're gonna start with that again. Can the ghost routine. Hand me the dynamite, Blizzard. I said... You goons look pretty convincing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Faster, you fools! Faster! Yeah, we hate to see you go so soon. We just get to like you. We want you to feel at home here, especially since you helped save it for us. Well, thank you, ma'am. But uh, we have a home, too. And now it's time to go back and save it. Well, it sounds like things are still a-humming in was. Hey, you was are back about six months early. <laughs> we decided to try a little different approach to the problem. All right, you humbugs, this is our home, and you're welcome to stay here as long as you respect our peace and quiet. Which means, put a lid on the humming! Well, now that everything's back to normal, I'll get back to my dance lessons. No, oh, no, you don't. If the humbugs have to be quiet, so do you. I know he has a point, Hoppo. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll switch to ballet. Oh. Well, it looks like things are back to normal in was. Let's shake on it. Peaceful. Quiet. Gotcha! <laughs> I'll get you for that, Rhinoki. And chaos. Welcome back once again to the wonderful land of Was. Hmm, seems like a good time to be back, too. Looks like Was is being turned into something special today. And speaking of turns, that must be Rhinoki. He's one driver who's always taking a turn for the worse. It's Rhinoki, please slow down. I felt safer on a runaway merry-go-coaster. Just practicing for the Wuzzle Rally. You said you wanted to get to Huppo in a hurry. Yeah, but I'd like me and my tummy to get there at the same time. Oh. 
Okie-dokie. You could have caused a terrible accident, a disaster. Yeah, that's our only ladder. Whoa, it really fills the sky. Is that a fat joke? No, he meant the banner. Will the decorations be ready in time for the Wuzzle Rally? No problem. In fact, I'll probably have time to practice my singing. You know how badly I want to sing the Wuzz National Anthem. Then no one can sing it as badly as you. <laughs> you will be looking for someone to sing the anthem, won't you? Well, uh, uh us? Yeah. In fact, we'd better start looking right now. Let's buzz, Rhinoki. Don't think I'm gonna give up easily, Bumble Big Shot Lion. Make sure Rhinoki doesn't mess up your streets anymore. Keep up the good work, Muzo! Good morning, Butterbear! Getting the goodies ready for the Wuzzle Rally? Yes, Appleberry Pies. Mmm, yummers! My favorite! Say, Butterbear... Could I ask you a favor? Okay, but only one. I need the rest for the big race. No, no, I didn't mean a pie. I meant... Don't you think it would be wonderful if someone truly talented sang the was anthem at the rally? Someone born to sing? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Thank you, but I'm much too busy with the concession. Not you, me! You've got to convince Bumble Lion that I'm the voice he's looking for. Croc's toe boot. Okay, that's good. I croc! What's this thing for? For money, of course. If this race is gonna rally around my house, I'm gonna round up some money from it. <laughs> Look out! Beaver birds! Oh, no! The trophy! No one's gonna want to race without a big trophy to win. Where will we get another one? I've got it! Elru! Let's find him and make it slow. Roadhogs! Oh, no. Only on was would a road hog be half road runner, half hog. Looks like these guys have a real street tooth. I better tell Bumble Lion. Rhinoki, I swear your driving gives my goosebumps goosebumps. I'll see you and your goosebumps later. I gotta get home and fix the Rhinoki Roadster. <laughs> That Rhinoki. Why is it my nerves are a wreck, but his cab isn't? Is everything ready for the rally? Yeah, everything but the prize. Think you can help me out? Oh, sure. Maybe I have something here. Ooh, here's something nifty. Nah, I want a grand prize, not a booby prize. Wait, I think I've got something. Hey, how'd you do that? I don't know. But I found what we need. Can we use this for the prize? Oh, my great-grandpa Kangafin won that. I'd hate to lose it. Oh, you won't. Rhinoki's a shoe-in to win the race. I promise to get it back for you. Well, okay, I guess. Wow! Musa, you in training for the Wuzzle Rally? There isn't gonna be a rally. Roadhogs are in town. Where? That was me. Now for the final touch. What's good enough for me is good enough for the Rhinoki Roadster. <laughs> Not bad, considering I haven't stepped on the gas yet. Rhinoki's got one mean machine. What do we do, Bumble Lion? 
We'll have to coax him off the road. Yikes! I only like rocky roads when it's ice cream. Look out! Runaway roadster! Oh boy. Sounds like Eagle Beagle and Rhinoki didn't hit it off very well. Well, I'd say Rhinoki took the law into his own hand and came up empty handed. You've gone too far this time, Lead Hoof. Too far? How can you say that? I didn't even make it to the end of the tunnel. All right, cut the alleged jokes. I'm giving you a ticket. To the policeman's ball? <laughs> I was kidding, I was kidding. <laughs> now, what's the second ticket for? Offending an officer with a bad punchline. One more ticket for reckless driving, funny boy, and you are out of the wattle rate. You got that? Uh-oh. Excuse me. Perhaps you've heard that Hoppopotamus has offered to sing the Was National Anthem at the Wuzzle Rally. I have this petition. Well, I'd be glad to sign it. I can't imagine anything worse than Hoppo singing our anthem. Gracious, can you imagine? Oops. Oh, there's my cab. Only one name on a petition doesn't carry much weight, even if it is my name. Wait a minute. Is that another fat joke? Oh. Look who's here. Oh, hi, guys. Boy, do I feel awful. How come, Ellaru? If Rhinoki gets a ticket and is out of the race, I'll never get my grandpa's trophy back. No problem. We'll teach Rhinoki how to be a safe driver. Good. We can each take shifts, but we better get to him before Eagle Beagle does. <laughs> Make me a safe driver? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I knew he'd think it was a joke. Good luck, Butterbear. <laughs> Wait till my passengers hear this. <laughs> Rhinoki, slow down. Rhinoki, if Officer Eagle Beagle had seen you, you'd be out of the race. Hmm, out of the race. Okay, okay. Starting with this toll booth, I'll try to drive safer. Hobel? Hey, where'd this thing come from? Uh, just a public works improvement. And if enough of the public goes through this, I won't ever have to work again. I don't see how changing this sign is gonna get Rhinoki a ticket. You will. You will. <laughs> Here it comes. Remember this important rule. Always obey the speed limit. Speed limit 155 miles per hour. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. Hold on, every wuzzle. Come on, let's go. The trophy's as good as mine. With all that gold, our refrigerator will be full for weeks. Days, anyway. Uh, hello again, officer. Uh, 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 lovely day, isn't it? Lovely day for tickets. Uh, surely there's been a mistake. Didn't you see how fast Rhinoki was going? No, but I saw how slow you were going. This is a 155 mile an hour zone. Some drivers never learn. So here's your lesson. Now, what are we doing here, Croc? Give it Rhinoki one last chance. There's nothing he hates more than a traffic jam. Let's go to work. <laughs> Jumping jelly beans. He struck jam. 
Let's get out of here before things get sticky. Aren't I driving better, El Rule? Oh, I think so. At least we haven't hit anything for a while. Hold on, El Rue. I don't want to get stuck in that traffic jam up ahead. Careful, Rhino. My knees are already jelly. Yikes. Run for it. to old Croc. Rhinoki's gone too far. He won't have the last laugh this time. When last we left the Wuzzle, it looked like Bumble Lion had left us. Oh, it's all my fault. Oh, Bumble Lion, if only I could tell you how sorry I am. You could start by helping me up. You know, it's funny. I could almost hear his little voice in my head. You want to hear something funnier? I can hear them in your head, too. Hey, you guys, I'm down here! I hate to nag, but there's no elevator down here. That does it. I'm throwing away the keys to my cab. I could have killed my best friend. But what about the race? And my trophy? I wouldn't think of entering the race. I'm never driving again, and that's no joke. What are we going to do now that Rhinoki won't raise? Oh, no. I'm never going to get my grandpa's trophy back. Oh, yeah, you will. We'll just put the Rhinoki Roadster back together and win the race ourselves. Speaking of the race... <clears throat> my wazoo tis of me. Bumble Lion's right. We've got to try. What a swell guy Bumble Lion is to drive it for us. Uh, sorry, I'm announcing. You'll have to drive, Butterbear. But I'm running the concession. Moosel? I'm cleaning the streets, Apo. Okay, I'll drive. But only on one condition. Uh, yeah, w never mind, Hoppo. Maybe we could get Ellaru to drive. Uh, me? Oh, please. Please! I'll drive the car, I'll win the trophy, but I've got to sing the anthem. This silver throat was born to warble. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Oh, Belion, thank you. You won't regret it. Mm -hmm. I already do. Before we start the Wuzzle Rally, rally the, the Wuzz National Anthem. Well, where's the Rhinoki Roadster? That is the Rhinoki Roadster. And there she is, Hoppopotamus. Wait a minute. This is something unusual, race fan. Hoppo, what are you doing back there? I'm a backseat driver, silly. What? You can't drive from back there. Yes, I can. I always do. Just take the wheel and do as I say. Oh, my. How do I get into these situations? What, 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 what do I do with the clutch? I don't know. Clutch it. And there goes our room. Yay! Well, open the gate, you goon. I'm losing ground. What do you mean you want a quarter? This is my toll booth. Now let me through. Now look what you've done. They're winning! Slow down in a race? Just do as I say. Oh, Hoppo, we're 
we're losing again. Well, winning isn't everything. We have to look spiffy for the cameras. Say, Mario, looks like you put on a little weight. One down, one to gold. Hmm. Looks like Mario and Ducky has dropped out of the race. Now what, Hoppo? Either turn on the propellers or kiss this potamus goodbye! Hoppo! Why didn't you use your spare tire? <laughs> That laughing gas is for their tires. <laughs> you think you guys could give us a little push? Sounds like I better make a pit stop for a quick fill up. Here, boss, I snatched these pies from Butter Bear's concession stand. Oh, hot diggity. Just to fill up my empty stomach needs. Keep up the good cheat. Make sure Elaru's out of the race for good. Yeah, Road Hockeys. Come on, Road Hockeys. Yeah, those Road Hogs made pigs of themselves, all right. But Croc will be furious if they don't eat this road unless. Hey, how'd you like some asphalt with your traffic jam, brat? <laughs> Here comes the creep in the convertible again. Time to force him down that wrong road my mother says I've been on for years. Oh, no. This is the end of the race for me. It's hard to believe that the roadster looks worse now than it did before. Alaru, what happened? Oh. And, and it, it looks, looks like, like the, the race, race belongs to Croc. Boo! Oh, sweet jealousy. Music to my ears. What have I done? This is all my fault. Well, don't blame yourself, Rhinoki. The road just stopped before we could. But Elaru should never have been driving in the first place. I should have. Okay, stand back, everybody. Rallying Riney and his racing roadster are about to recapture this race for Elru's sake. But how? Just grab some of those parts. And away I go! Wait a minute, folks. The race isn't over yet. Because here comes Rhinoki! Yay! Well, it looks like it's going to be a close race after all. It'll either be a photo finish or an oil painting. The call. It will be a photo finish. Waiting for the film. No, no wait. It is an oil painting race fans, and the winner is Rhinoki by the nose and the horn. Yay! He won. Story of my life. A day late, the refrigerator short. Boy, that was a great finish, Rhinoki. Yeah, I did it all for Elru. Ah, oh, thanks. But I thought you were never going to drive again after your accident. Well, I've learned my lesson. What's that? If you don't drive safely, lives can be in danger? 
No, I learned that life in the pits is the pits. Oh no, he's never going to learn. Just kidding, my friends are too important, so I rigged my joke meter. Now watch what happens every time I speak. Nothing I hate more than a hostile audience. <laughs> well, looks like everything turned out okie dokie. Uh, better make that okie rhinoki at the Wuzzle 500. Wait a minute, nobody's leaving. Not until somebody hears me sing the anthem. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. It's Appleberry time again in the good old land of Wuzz. And it's a well-known fact that Wuzzles are just wild about Appleberries. One for you, one for me. One for you and one two for me. One for you and one two three for me. <laughs> Apparently, if you're going to put all your Appleberries in one basket, you better keep an eye on Rhinoki. Thanks, Ellaru. It's practically raining appleberries. Did you say raining? Maybe it's a storm. Could be there's a monster storm coming. That's when those big condosaurus monsters come out. I've seen them before. Ah! Look, look, look! What did I tell you? It's a condo... The, con the condosaurus! Lighten up, Russell. You're always seeing monsters. But, 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 Bumble, that's a condo, a condo. Well, it was there. I saw it. I saw it as plain as, as plain as... This is another fine appleberry jam you got me into. It's like making appleberry jam the hard way. But its color is so becoming. Yeah, it's becoming sticky. You know, you got to do something about your wild imagination. My imagination? What do you call that over there? Call what? There's nothing over there but a lot of yucca wood trees. You call those weird-looking creatures yucca wood trees? You've been seeing too many monster movies. If you don't mind me saying it, it's all in your mind, Moosel, wherever that is. You... Hey, I know a dinomuncus when I see one. I'm gonna go where it's safe. Oh, no, you don't. You've messed things up enough for one day. You better pick your appleberries over here, away from the rest of us, where we'll be safe. That's all the thanks I get for trying to save everybody from a fate worse than the... Oh, now what? <coughs> That's a water service. It's a real one. We're surrounded by these monsters. It's another monster. Run for your lives. It's throwing boulders at us. He's done it again. That's it. That's the clincher. I've had it up to here with all your phony monsters, Musso. Look what you've done. You could have damaged the dam. You're a nice guy, Musso, but your imagination should be locked up. A wild imagination can be dangerous when taken too seriously. Yeah, it's becoming a real problem, Musso. Ooh, you got a bad case of monster mania. Oh, well, let's just forgive and forget. I can't handle controversy. Right. Let's pick some more appleberries. It's still early. All good. Let's go, everyone. Up and at those appleberries. Me too. Me too, huh? No way. Nowhere. No how. Uh, 
Uh. Don't call us. We'll call you, Musil, when we need some high-risk danger and excitement. <laughs> you better go home, Musil, where we'll all be safer. I'm sorry, but Bumble Lion's right. That boulder scare rattled my already frazzled nerves. Bye, Musil. I'll bring you a nice appleberry pie later. Nobody wants me around anymore. I can't help it if I got a big imagination. I just gotta get these monsters out of my head or nobody's ever gonna like me. I won't even like myself. And I'm my own best friend. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Especially on monsters. <laughs> What's that? Another monster? Whoop! I almost did it again. Musso! Yoo-hoo! Musso! Are you home? Hi, Musso! I brought you a nice, fresh appleberry pie. Wow! Oh, thank you, Butterbear. I just love appleberry pie. Especially your appleberry pie. You better put it on the window to cool for a while. It's still fresh and hot. Can you stay for a while and visit? I, I won't even mention, like, you know what. I'd love to, Moosel, but I really have to get back to town and finish my baking. Is everybody still mad at me? Oh, not really. But you could try to do something about your big imagination, you know. I know. But I'm really working on I really am, really. I know you are. Goodbye, Moosel. Bye, Butterbear. I will try. I really will, really. No more monsters. No more. No monsters for me. Uh-oh. I see it, but I don't believe it. My imagination has run off with my pie. Well, now, Moosel has to deal with two problems at the same time. An imaginary monster eating a real pie. Well, I know I saw that monster, and I certainly don't have an overactive imagination. Or do I? So what really happened to my pie? I put it right there, then I walked to the door with Butterbear, and then I heard, and then, and then a monster grabbed it. Uh-oh, there I go again, monster, this monster, that I gotta quit doing that right now. But what happened to my pie? Hmm? Oh, this is so confusing. Maybe I'll feel better after a cool dip. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Is this a real dinosaur eel combination or a genuine imitation? Yay! Hold on, Muso. Wait just a minute. What's a big rush anyway? Nothing is really happening, right? Right. I just have to remember that big thing behind me doesn't bother me at all because it's only an optical illusion. You know, I think I'm finally cured. <coughs> Yay! Oops, almost lost it for a minute there. Listen, fella, you know, you're just imaginary. You're all in my head. So, please, go away, will you? <laughs> Say, that's one mean-looking tooth. You're lucky it's not real, or it would really ache. <laughs> now, here's a monster with a serious problem. But is it real or imaginary? Actually, I'm not sure myself anymore. I guess you want that 
imaginary tooth pulled out, right? <laughs> now look, big fella, you don't really have a toothache. In fact, you aren't even real. This monster believes in the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, cry, cry again. <laughs> okay, Mr. Imaginary Monster, I'll try. But just this one time, then you'll have to control your imagination like me, okay? What am I saying? How can I pull a tooth that's only in the head of a monster that isn't even real? There is a fine line between reality and fantasy. And you have just erased the line. Oh, I just waited till the gang hears about this one. What am I saying? No, I've changed my mind. That's what got me in all this trouble in the first place. Sorry, Mr. Monster. I'd like to help, but you are all in my head. You are simply unreal. Nothing personal. Do re mi fa sol la ti tu! Maybe I need a new vocal coach. That noise is enough to scare the jokes out of me. Those sounds can mean only one thing, trouble. The dam has a crack in it. What's that awful noise, Bumble Lion? The dam has sprung a leak. Oh, I thought it was something serious. The dam has sprung a leak? Well, that's serious. It's the dam, all right. And we better get out there and see what we can do. Slap some logs on this dam. Come on, Ellaroo. Another good try, Ellaroo, but it's not working. Oh, look, Bumble Lion. Beaver Coons cutting logs out of trees. Good thought, Ellaroo. Those trees are just what we need to shore up the dam. We're saved! Whoopee! Uh, excuse me, Bumble Lion, but how are we going to get all those logs over to the dam? Oh, yeah, an important detail. Yeah! It'll be easier to move the dam up here with tweezers. Look, if that dam breaks, it's all over for us. We've got to do something fast. But, but, but I'm worrying as fast as I can. Good, then I don't have to worry. Quiet, I'm searching my mind for a solution. This could be a long way. I got it! We just need rope, good, strong rope to haul those locks down here. That wasn't worth waiting for. There's some strong rope in the storehouse back in town. How fast can you get there and back? I don't know. That's a long ride back to town. Yeah, I'm out of here. Obviously, this situation is a lot more serious than it's cracked up to be. So here's our Moosel, still busy trying to separate reality from fantasy. And I must confess, I'm having some difficulty myself. You know, Mr. Monster, if you're just in my overactive imagination, how could you believe in such big, deep tracks? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
And how could you scare off that goof out if you're only an illusion? It's unreal how really real you look. No, no. Oh, you poor guy. That toothache must be really hurting. Even if it isn't real. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll see what I can do. But don't tell anybody about this, promise? Okay, we'll need a rope. A good, strong rope to pull that tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, we'll find some rope in town. Uh-huh. Now, don't take it personally if I don't speak to you when I run into my friends. They don't understand this imaginary stuff. Where is everybody? I finally got control of my imagination, and there's nobody around to appreciate it. No! <laughs> okay, okay. Now, where can I find some rope? I got it. The storehouse. if I pull this off, or out. Sorry, but we're gonna have to do this without a painkiller. Nobody's ever gonna believe this, you know. I don't even believe it myself, and I'll believe anything. Hey, Moosel, I'm desperate for that rope. Oh, hi, Rhinoki. Where is everybody, anyway? <laughs> What's with you, Rhinoki? You look like you just saw a monster. Well, if that guy behind you isn't a monster, he should see a doctor. I'm gone! Hey, he's no monster. He's just a mirage. What's that? Uh-oh, the dam is cracking. So that's where everyone is. Oh, I've got to go there, too. So... <laughs> but I've got real problems now, so let's hurry. Okay, <laughs> that does it. The rest is up to you. Go for it. The gang needs help at the dam. At last, there's Riney. Hooray! <laughs> Where's the rope? A funny thing happened to me in town. I saw one of Moosel's monsters. Forget the jokes, Rhinoki. This is serious. Well, I hate to admit it, but I really saw a monster. Moosel's imagination is becoming contagious. I know you'll think I'm crazy, and this is the first time I've agreed with you. Okay, so where's the rope you went for? Are you kidding? I was lucky to get away with my life. Here's Moosel now. Hi, gang. I came to help as soon as I saw the dam we coming. Well, I hope you're satisfied. Now you've got Rhinoki seeing monsters. No, sir, not me. I haven't seen any real monster. That's Rhinoki's problem now. Listen, Rhinoki. Uh-oh. I never thought I'd say this, but it's a monster! Run for it! Run for it, everyone! Save yourself, Musso! Run! <laughs> Looks like the last life was on me. It's been nice knowing you, Butterbear. Me too, Ellaroo. Ah, 
gotta relax, everybody. There's no monster. You're just gonna have to learn to control your imaginations. Where have I heard that before? Hey, Musso, this monster is for real! He is? Are you really for real? Uh-huh. Really? Well, you're the nicest monster I ever imagined. Admit. Hey, the dam! It's about to bust! Mr. Monster, you gotta help us save the dam, will you please? Mr. Monster. I never would have thought a monster could be such a helpful friend. You are the greatest. Gee, we don't know how to thank you. You saved our dam and our town, too. Yeah, you showed us what a real friend we have in Musil. Well, I guess you want to go back to your own home, right? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks a lot, pal. See you around, I think. climb right into its mouth and I pull that tooth, this, this very one that you see right here, I just, just pulled it right out of its mouth with my own two little bare hands. I did, I did that. Once or twice, I even thought it was gonna swallow me. But that didn't stop me. Well, Musa, I guess that's the tooth. The whole tooth and nothing but the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the monsters that got away. Once again, all is well in the land of was. Well, at least as well as it always was. Welcome once again to the wacky land of was. Hey, take a look at that train. A uh, tugboat. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's a chugboat. I told you it's wacky and was. Papo, leaving's a lousy idea. I haven't swapped the poop deck or anything yet. Don't start with me, Musel. We all need a vacation. See? Every Wuzzle's thrilled to be going. Not me, Hoppo. I really need to stay and practice my basketball. My garden needs home. My lawn needs mowing. And I suppose you want to stay to pull some kind of joke? Nope, you know me. Have joke, we'll travel. <laughs> Listen, we all discussed this, and I decided that a nice cruise at sea would do us all a was of good. Now, let's get on this chug boat and have a good time. I need a picture of this. Trying to break the sound barrier? I thought you said full steam ahead. I said, you fools, I'm half dead. I can hardly wait to tickle my taste bud with some of Butter Bear's good cooking. But I didn't cook. I did. My favorite, liver spinach sandwiches. Yuck! Uh-oh. Is every wuzzle seasick? Yeah, we see his sandwiches and we get sick. Mmm, put this for bait. Maybe I'll catch a shrimp chimp.
for you, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> no, I just want to see you sink. Did you have a nice swim, Hoppo? Oh, 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 gosh, it's a whopper. I've got a terrible feeling this isn't the sh shrimp chimp. <laughs> It's a baboon bass. What's all the hump up on my chug tug? Hey, that was my liver spinach sandwich, you baboon bully. <laughs> Yikes! The sandwich wasn't that bad. Is this what Hoppo meant by a good time? Yummers! I'm so glad I packed for emergencies. Everything around here. Now, let's get back to having fun. Whoa! Can't you tell I'm having a ball? Oh no, it's pirate! Surrender your loot, Skeddy Wassels. Or, uh, or, uh, eh. What does the book say, mate? Or, uh, uh, we'll blast you out of this here water. Full steam ahead! What do we do? We'll have to fight fire with fire! How's this? No, we need guns, cannons, missiles, torpedoes! All I have is my makeup case! And the food, with Moosel's liver spinach sandwiches! What could be deadlier? Now I need a way to launch them. Here, try these. Sail. Start your knitting needles, mateys. This is not my idea of a good time. Quick, abandon ship before the pirates get here. Sweet. Now we 
We'll have fun at last. The worst is behind us. Boy, I couldn't have said it better. Those pig mice are a mean-looking butt. <laughs> they say that every wuzzle travels to the beat of a different drum. But this is one drum that Hoppo would like to beat. You know, this vacation's the pits. I'm gonna have to outsmart these twerps. Hmm, careful. Mudslide area ahead. <laughs> Suckers! only one thing to do. You're right. Fix the tugboat and head for home. No, Hoppo's got to be rescued. But the lion's right. And once we're home, we'll call a rescue team to save her. Hey, she's our friend, remember? Shit! How'd these guys like it if they were being chased? <laughs> Maybe now I can get back to my friends for an afternoon of fun. So much for fun. Oh, Apple's hoof prints must be close. Yeah, close to where we started. Do I still say we call for that professional rescue team? Let's not give up yet. We'll find Hoppo. No, I meant for us. Let me go. Let me out of here. Although it is heaven being off these hooves. Great leader, squeaky, squeaky, barky, barky. We offer you Hippo Hoppo. Very good. Repair Hippo Hoppo for lunch. Lunch? No, no, there's been a big mistake. You know Heave Ho Hoppo? Me? No, your boys mistook me for someone else. Easy mistake. I'm very big in theater. You big actress? Well, quite honestly, my fans just have to hear I'm in a play and they start crying. Then act like Heave Ho Hoppo. Good enough. Prepare for lunch. Oh, what a day I'm having. Hey, hear what I hear? Is th th that my heart pounding? No, bongo drums. I bet if we follow that, we'll find Hoppo. Follow that and we'll find Hoppo. Her stomach's growling. <laughs> oh, it's Mount Vesuvi was. Drums are on the other side. Come on, let's cross that volcano before she blows. Going somewhere? Up, 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 up. A mine shaft. Maybe it's a shortcut. Sounds like someone's having a blast in there. Surely I have a lantern in this pouch somewhere. Ah! You stay out! This here's my clean steak! Uh, we were just looking for a shortcut. I weren't born yesterday! Go find your own ruby diamond or I'll blast you! Sheesh! Every Wuzzle sure is having a blast blasting us. Boy, my heart's really pounding now. It's the drums. We must be close. Look, the pig mice. Hoppo must be here. Oh, where could she be? <clears throat> Good. Now bring the big stuff. Oh, great, great, great. 
think he means. <laughs> Hoppo? Quick, there's no time to lose. Bumble Lion, hurry! I found Hoppo! What have you got under that lid? Din Din. <gasps> oh, Hoppo, I never told you what a good friend you were. Well, what a good sport you were. Well, what a good actress you were. Or what a good dancer, considering how big you were. Another fat joke, huh? Hoppo! Hoppo, are you all right? Fantastic! These pig mice throw a mean luncheon. Want some pineapple cider? But, but why were the pig mice chasing you? They thought I was her, the heave-ho Hoppo. To them, she's some big matuta or something. Well, since you're safe, let's head for home. And give up the royal treatment? This hopopotamus isn't stupid. But Hoppo, we need your help fixing Moosel's chug boat. Yeah, no one else can plug the hole. Listen, I'll go ask the big cheese if he'll give you a new boat. A new chug boat? You're right. Let's think big. I'll ask for a yacht jet. Do we get a yacht jet? Not exactly. Bye, Bye now. Hoppo. See you later, Bye. Hoppo. Doodaloo. I'll send postcards. Hmm. Somebody ought to do something about that Mount Vesuvia was. It's getting on my nerves. Time for heave ho. Later, kids. Let me finish lunch. Then we'll play. Hey, what's the big deal? You are. Mount Vesuvi was very angry. <laughs> Only he, Ho Hoppo, make it happy. We're cool. What'll it be? A little song and dance? Mm, no. A few card tricks? Strike them too. All right, maybe I'll bring it lunch. Now you talking. Mount Vesuvi was like them, hippie, he, Ho Hoppo. Wait. I just remembered. I'm late for an appointment with my hoof and mouth doctor. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> Let me go. Let me help! Let go! Somebody save me! What a day this is turning out to be! Looks like lunch with Mount Vesuvi was is turning out to be lunch for Mount Vesuvi was. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen the Wuzzles use their head to get out of a situation. No sign of the Pyrax. It's safe to leave. What was that? It sounded like Hoppo. She must be having a scream at the luncheon. She got the good time she wanted. We have to get home. It always happens. The spare is flat, too. Boogala, boogala. Ree, ree, ree. For the last time, you're making a big mistake. Those scally wuzzles are here somewheres. What's the book say about punishment for blazing our sails? Right. Says here. Blast them. I figured. Dippity, dippity, do da day. Boonga, boonga, to hunger, hey! Hold it. Your loot or your lives. Oh, how can I ever repay you? With your jewels, your robe. Sounds reasonable. And your head. My head? What for? For torching me sail. Oh! I don't blame you for being miffed, but let me say a few farewells. Squeaky, squeaky, bucky, bucky, save me! And shorten that name. She, our heave-ho hoppo, we heave her into mountain. No. Take her to the ship. Some choice. Pillaged by pirates or pot-roasted by pig mice. Hoppo sure letting the good times roll. Uh-oh. The pirates have landed in the next lagoon. Let's get out of here. Ah, save me! 
That didn't sound like a scream of joy. Oh, someone's probably trying to wrestle a drumstick away from Hoppo. <laughs> we better go check. Those pirates might have her. Boys, please! There's an autonomous here for everybody. Let her go! Am I ever glad to see you guys? Help the pig mice, gang! Hold up, pose. Hold your ground, Skelly Wuzzle, or I'll run you through. Say, so, Chief, think you can lend a hand? Break em, stick em, spear em, chuck em! Break em, stick em, spear em, chuck em! What's the book say about being outnumbered? Brr, says here, blast em out of the water! We ain't in water, stupid. Keep reading. Mm, if blasting fails, yipe and run for it! Yeah. Bumble Lion. We thank you, too. Now, on with Eve Ho. Eve Ho? Who? They think that by giving me to Mount Vesuvius, it'll stop the volcano from exploding. Well, if anything will plug that volcano, it's Hoppo's Potamus. Wait, that's not a volcano. It's that miner blasting. No fast talk, or we heave ho you, too. Help the lion do something. Watch after Hoppo, gang. I have an idea. <laughs> Mr. Miner, you've got to help. I told you to stay off my claim, now get! But you gotta tell the pig mice about your blasting, or they're gonna throw a two-ton pot of us down on you. Frog wash! Now get! Take them, rattle them, roll them, throw them! Carnation, every time I get to blasting, somebody tosses their trash down my mountain. But that's what I'm trying to explain. It's the pig mice. Well, I'll fix them. Wait, one last picture to remember you, Bob. <laughs> Don't say that! One, two, zero! One, two... You little twerps! Stop that! Great Mountain Matuda! Oh! Oh, oh wow! Your wish is our command! Mountain Matuda, huh? What you offering? You want trinkets? Souvenirs? How about party favors? Is that all? You've been throwing that junk down here for years. Now get, don't you ever come back. Got lots of party favors. You want me to blow my top? <laughs> Have you had enough fun and relaxation for one day? Well, Hoppo, we're finally having a good time. I won't be happy until I'm safe and sound in my own home. You know, it was really kind of exciting. You call disasters exciting? I'm never going to take a vacation again. Then it's a good thing I took pictures. You'll be able to remember this vacation forever. Not him again. Only in the land of Woods could a disaster have been so much fun. So we're sure to be back for more disaster, I mean more fun, here with the Wuzzle. Welcome to the land of Woods where nobody is like anybody you've seen before. The people who live in Wuzz are called Wuzzles, naturally. And as you probably guessed, Wuzzles are a little bit, um, you know, different. Anyhow, here we are again. Another typically magnificent day in the land of Wuzz. It's an ideal setting for a Wuzzle picnic, actually. And what's a picnic without... Flans! I hate flans! Flans? Oh, I get it. A flan is one part fly, one part ant, and the rest is just plain annoying.
<laughs> Don't let them bother you, Bumble Lion. I'm not letting them. They're doing it on their own. Plants have a strong instinct for sharing. <laughs> we'll be lucky to get our own share. I'm sorry, but you can't have my carrot butter and jellyfish sandwich. They ought to at least bring their own lunch. Ouch! You gotta be a fast eater around these plants. Hey, Rhinoki! Flants at six o'clock low! Stop them! Say, did you fellows hear the one about the guy who took a ruler to bed to see how long he slept? <laughs> Plants uh, oh. <laughs> aren't so bad, Bumble Lion. Look how they help me peel my banana bean. Yeah, they're just adorable little <laughs> creatures. Get away! Get away! Hey, Moosel, over to you. Grab it, Butter Bear. Ugh. It went that away. Okay, Elaru, run out for a long pass. Yeah, oh, grab it. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Oops. Fortunately, Elaru is not injured, but the poor banana pine tree is losing one of its tenants. I can hardly wait to see what happens when that egg's mother finds her kid missing. Hmm. You okay, Elaru? Oh, yeah, sure. Except for this funny feeling in my tummy. Hey, you laid an egg, Elaru. Wow. Look, I'm a mom. There's got to be a better explanation. Where did it come from? From. What kind of an egg is it? Looks like a pouched egg, and the yolk's on you. <laughs> is this some sort of theatrical act, Ellaru? Well, no, I. Oh, oh, it's moving. Oh, it called me Mooma. My son, my son. Egg. Who cares? The fun is in the scramble. <laughs> oh, I break me up. <laughs> that poor egg is somebody's baby. We have to return it to its real mother. Tell that to Ellaru. And it's Bumbleion closing in on the egg. Bumbleion at the far turn, and now it's Bumbleion in the lead. Bumbleion and the egg in second place. Into the stretch, it's Bumbleion and the egg, who is finding out that this race is not what it's cracked up to be. Now that's one crafty egg! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. I wish I could say it was nice running into you. <laughs> You're a million laughs, Rhinoki. Hey, Bumble Lion, where are you? Excuse me, ladies. Is this yours? It's polluting my lake. Oh! Oh, my poor, dear, sweet, over-enthusiastic Bumbleion. Are you all right? Bumbleion, speak to me. Speak to me! What a bear. Is that you? Not exactly. Hey, come here, little egg. It's me, Mooma. Remember? Oh, oh, uh oh. 
Looks like it's all over for this Mooma. You saved my life, little guy. You're an all-around good egg. Where's that egg? Is it all right? Totally. He's sleeping in my pouch. So what are you going to do with it, Ellaru? I'm going to keep it. We've already become close friends. But it belongs with its mother. It belongs with me. I found it. It's my egg. Okay. We'll just have to wait until it hatches to see what it is and then figure out where it belongs. We're going to hatch it? Oh, gee, terrific! It's important for the egg to be kept warm. I'll sit on it. Oh, no, you'll crush it. Do you think the sun lamp is a hot idea? <laughs> okay, what'll it be? Tan, burn, bake, sizzle, or poach? Put it on hatch. Gotcha! How's that, little egg? We'll raise him to be handsome, like me. Or incredibly talented like me. Forget it, you two. Once this egg is hatched, we have to return it to its mother. Whatever and wherever she is. Look. Oh. oh. It, it's hatching. <gasps> what? W what is it? Maybe it's a baby monster inside. It's... it's... Oh, I, I don't know what it is. Neither do I. But whatever it is... It's going to be very interesting. Ah, isn't he a cutie? He's adorable. So huggable. Just like you, Bumble Lion. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. Well, I thought he'd be funnier looking than that. What is he, anyhow? He's a baby Bumble Bullfinch, naturally. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Very interesting. This is your basic Brahma bull. This is an everyday common bird, the finch. So here in was, they must have, that's right, a Brahma bullfinch. Itchy, itchy, cool little Brahma bullfinch. Is you a cute baby? Yes, you is. Careful, Bumble Lion. Oh, I know how to handle kids. Is you a pretty little baby? Hey, don't scare the baby. Uh -oh. Yow! Ellaru, that kid belongs with its mom. You can't take care of him. I can too take care of him. Watch. Here, little guy. Have some cow sheep milk. He doesn't like milk. Brahma bullfinches eat googleberries. He needs his mom. Oh, I guess you're right, Butterbear. But how do we find his mom? <laughs> Any minute now, they're going to figure out these creatures come from the forest, eat googleberries, and live in banana pine trees. Well, these creatures come from the forest, eat googleberries, and live in banana pine trees. So this baby must have fallen into my pouch after I ran into that banana pine tree. Right. And they're a very valuable species, you know. Why is that? Well, because well-dressed puzzles make hats out of their feathers. It's all the raging style. Hoppo, we've got to take this kid and his teeth back to Brahma Bullfinch country. Then it's all settled. We'll take the baby Brahma Bullfinch back to the forest. <laughs> I haven't eaten for so long. Every time I swallow, my stomach says, thank you. Yeah, I have some delicious food pictures here. Mm, not bad, not bad. Could use a little salt. Come, come, there must be a picture of some dessert here. Uh, you know, Croc, yeah, I am so hungry, I'd even go to work. Picture of a hog dog. Picture of a double ram burger, pistachio pizza. Wait, wait a minute. Work! 
Where'd you learn that disgusting word? Did you pick that up on the streets? <laughs> I'm sorry, Croc, sir. Yeah, I didn't mean it. Work. You should wash your mouth out with wuzzle soap. Yeah, yeah I'll never say it again. <laughs> Here, you're just in time for lunch. Have a tuna pork roast. <laughs> I couldn't care less about... Did you say a baby Brahma bullfinch? Do you know what they pay for Brahma bullfinch feathers? We're going to be rich, rich, rich. Let's go, go, go. I'm sure going to miss this little guy. We've been together since the day he was born. This is it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> All right, it is a baby Brahma bullfinch. Good work, brat. You may be stupid, but you're not entirely worthless. <laughs> it's a long way to the top. Well, this is all my fault, so I guess I've got to do it. Here. Hold Junior till I get a ways up. Hey, Ellaro. Ellaro's can't climb trees. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, back off, everybody. I'm taking over. Yeah! Boy, some takeover. Oh, there he is. There's my baby, my baby, my poor baby. Y your baby? Why, yes. I am Mrs. Brahma Bullfinch, and I've been frantically searching everywhere for... Well, p please feed him, Mrs. Brahma Bullfinch. Feed him often, and, and remember, he likes to take naps, and sometimes... Uh, let me have the kid. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking such good care of him, Tata. Come on, let's beat it. <laughs> hey, lighten up, Ellaru. He's back with his mother. Oh, uh, I know, but <laughs> oh, I was really getting attached to the little fella. Oh, let's go. Cheer up, Ellaru. We had some good laughs. It's a happy ending. <laughs> And so, as Ellaru, Moosel, and all the Wuzzles have learned, never underestimate the power of a mother to track down her baby. Well, now, let's see. Where are we? Oh, yes, we were in deep trouble. Oh, it's another Mother Brahma Bullfinch. What does she want? Maybe she's a relative, but we're not staying around to find out. Hey, leave us alone. We're innocent. Yeah, please go away. We gave the baby back. Just getting back at me. Can't we get her down from there? Hey, I've got an idea. Hoppo, you come with me. Oh, great. Now I'm going to be homeless. Relax, Ellaru. Bumbalion is still around. You leave that big bluebird to me. That's what I'm afraid of. Here, Toro Bird. Ole! See the red clock? Ole, Toro Bird. Oh. Oh, 
that look. Oh, did I get rid of her? <laughs> no, she got rid of you. I hope Butterbear comes up with a better idea. Well, I sure hope Butterbear remembers that Brahma bullfinches are very fond of googleberries. Sorry, all out of googleberries. But googleberries are all that Brahma bullfinches eat. We desperately need some to lure one off the roof. Sorry, just sold all I had to those fellers outside. Papa, look. Lizard and Brad bought googleberries? You mean they paid for something? <laughs> What do they want with all those googleberries? Butterbear, look. It's the baby Brahma bullfinch. No wonder the mother is so furious. He has to eat if he knows what's good for him. He's gonna grow big and grow more feathers for us to sell and grow rich, rich, rich. Look, their backs are turned. She's stealing what we rightfully stole. Stop her! Papa, come on! After them! There's a fortune in feathers getting away! Oh, we'll never get her down off there. It's Butterbear and Hoppo with the baby Brahma Bullfinch. Yeah, followed by those loonies from the boonies. Come on, the excitement is building. <laughs> Which way should I go? Well, who cares? Just lose them. Stay on their tail. They've turned up our street. And then we've got them. There's nothing up there but my house. Onward! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? But this is Croc's house. Yeah, double trouble. Come on. They got some nerve trying to hide out in my place. We'll go in the back way. Boy, what a dump. This is no time to be picky. Find a place to hide. It's showdown time in Croc's house. Bumblelion, Croc is after our Brahma Bullfinch baby. Let me at that Croc. I'll tear him up. Okay, Big Mouth, now is your chance. Hand over the baby Brahma Bullfinch or my guys here are going to get very physical. You'll never have him, Croc. Listen, Lizard Breath, he stays with us. You're asking for trouble, Croc. Mm. Yeah. You better not get Bumble Lion angry. Yeah! Why not? Because you're the toughest wuzzle on the island. Oh, yeah! I almost forgot! Better close your eyes. This won't be a pretty sight. Oh, looks like we're stuck. Hey, hey what, what, what's going on? An, an earthquake? What? Okay, so it doesn't look good. But now, up on Croc's roof, the local Brahma Bullfinch community is gathering in answer to Mama Brahma Bullfinch's call. It sounds like Brat with indigestion. Come on, we're out of here. Stop them. Wizard Brat, save me. Whoa, that sure brought the house down. <laughs> Poor Croc and his guys. Are they hurt? Sorry, we don't want any. <laughs> oh, hi. This must be yours. Mama, move. Mama, move. Wee, wee, mama. 
was over easy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, gang, look what I just found. Oh, oh no! no! Well, folks, you guessed it. As they say, one good egg deserves another. But I'm leaving before this whole thing turns into a wuzzle omelet. The last time I saw this land of was, it was a wonderful experience. It always is. Every day here begins with the crow of the cockapoodle, a strange fowl that's part rooster, part poodle. Think of a chicken that chases cars. <laughs> Looks like a rude awakening for our residents of was this morning. should put a muffler on her mouth. Right on! Let's buzz! Ah! Hoppo, this singing has got to stop. I mean, you got to save your voice. But, Bumbleline, I've got to practice for the play. Tomorrow's opening night. I just hope I'm ready. Do you think my voice will move the audience? If they haven't moved already. <laughs> Hoppo, with your voice, you'll probably bring down the house. In that case, I better keep practicing. Yo, Remy Fasolati! There's an old superstition in the theater that if the dress rehearsal goes badly, the opening night will be a success. Sounds like we got a smash hit on our hands. Cinder wazzle, cinder wazzle, it's a party. Cinder wazzle, have a good time, but remember, after midnight, it's all over. Cinder wazzle, cinder wazzle, it's a party. Cinder wazzle. Well, what do you think, Butterbear? I've never heard a voice quite like that before. Yeah, your shoes starting out real big, Hoppo. Really? I rewrote the lyrics myself. Would you like me to sing it again? No, that was too much. I mean, no. Um, let's go on to the next scene, the one where you fly back to Fairy Godmotherland. Oh, good. I love that scene. It gives me a chance to get off my feet a little. Places, everyone. Let's begin. Remember, Cinderwuzzle, be back by midnight, or your carriage turns back into a punkinado. And lots of luck riding one of those contraptions home. Now I must be off like a bird in the sky. Now off, now off, now off I fly. I said... Like a bird in the sky, now off, off, off I fly. Be gone in a second, Sind. This fairy... 
sorry, that just isn't happening. Yes, yes, I'm off. I soar through the air with the greatest of ease. Hold it, cut. I'm afraid I'm going to have to recast your part, Hoppo. But why? Why? Because you're... You're too big for the part. You mean I'm too big a star for this little theater. Well, let's just say someone like you should be on the widescreen. <laughs> Very well. I will graciously bow out of Cinderwuzzle in order to fulfill my destiny. Wait, Hoppo. Where are you going? Off to where a big star like me really belongs. To a place where a top banana gets top filling, where the cream rises to the top. I knew it. She's off to the malt shop again. <laughs> I'm off to Hollywood. I'm off for Hollywood. I'll be a star no matter what I does. Where all the people will be so enamored of all my glamour. There'll be no stopping me now. Cause Hoppo's hitting Hollywood's town. We can't let Hoppo go to Hollywood. She'll be a flop. Yeah, why should she be a flop there when she can be a big flop right here? Oh, we can't tell her that, Ryan. But we've got to talk her out of this. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, da -doo, da -da -doo. Hoppo, we came over to... Wish me goodbye. How nice. But I really haven't time for a farewell party. Will you dears help me with my bags? The Hollywood's bus will be leaving soon. These are the bare essentials, but they'll have to do. Let's go. All aboard for Wazerly Hills. Wazamunga and Hollywoods. I guess this is it. But you all must promise to visit me in Hollywoods. Uh, shouldn't we tell her? Tell me what? That you can't go. You'll never make it in Hollywoods. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, uh, life is tough out there. Yes, I know. All those hot lights, the endless movie premieres. Signing autographs for fans all day long. Long nights at parties, mingling with stars, lounging by the pool of my estate. Yes, it's hard work, but someone has to do it. Yeah, with my help, we can do it. Holly was, here I come. Gee, Hoppo, we'll sure miss you. Yes, I know, but don't worry. I won't be like those other big stars who forget all the little people they left behind. Hey, don't look now, big star, but the big bus just left you behind. <laughs> what? Hey, wait for me! <laughs> I guess now it's not a question of whether Hoppo makes it in Hollywood, but whether she makes it to Hollywood. So, this must be Hollywood, the movie capital of was. You know, hearsay has it that glitter glows the brightest here, and hundreds of would be movie stars arrive every day, hoping to break into showbiz. I thought I was supposed to be a star. Here, let me help. These westerns are murder. Look, Moosel, a real five star. May I have your autograph? Well, sure. No one's ever asked me for mine before. Aren't you a big time star? Well, no, I'm just a stand in for a star. Well, I better get back. The big stampede scene is next. This is it, Moosel. A movie studio, and it's time for my screen test. Uh, tell Squirrely McLam. Uh, she's got the part. Uh, who are you? Your next star. I'm ready for my screen test. Where do I sign my exclusive contract? The nerve! 
love him. Oh, Musil. If only Mr. Parafox could see me act. I know he'd make me a star. No more westerns. I quit. This is my chance. Ready or not, Hollywoods, here I come. Bring in the stand-in. Ready when you are, Mr. Director. What's my motivation? In this scene, you limp across the street. Got that? Gotcha. Get my Oscar ready. How the was was one stampede scene. Roll them. You've got to take it to make it. Who'd you get the card from, Bumble Lion? Hoppo, listen. Dearest Bumble Lion, Holly Was is incredible. Just replaced a major star in a Western. My best to all, Holly Was Hoppo. Wow, things are really hopping for Hoppo. Gee, maybe she had hidden talent. Yeah, well, it had a lot of room to hide in. <laughs> Moosel, did you see them? I'll bet they're filming a big musical in there. I've got to be in that movie. It's too late. They're already shooting. Maybe next time. Moosel, never put off till tomorrow what you can sneak into today. Moosel, I need you to help button me up. Okay, but I'll need you to suck in tight. Oh! This darn costume must have shrunk in the wash. There, I knew it'd be easy. Achoo! Hurry, Mosul, hurry. They're starting without me. From Hoppo. What you have to say? Just made a musical film. Everyone's clamoring for me. Hey, there she is. Get her. Quick, in here. We're tied in here till things cool off. The explosive charge is ready, Mr. Seal Bird. Roll the special effects shot. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's happening? Either it's a reaction to the taco burger I had for breakfast, or we're in Steven Spielberg's new space movie. I, I hope it's the taco burger. I can't take that chance. Hey, who put her in the shop? Anything from Hoppo? Yeah, here it is. Just finished Sealbird's new space movie. Having a blast. Wish you were here. Gee, it must be incredible fun being a star. I wish we were in Hollywood, too. Mmm. Aren't you ready to give it up yet, Papo? Never. All I need is one lucky break. Come on. Ah, now this is the big finale. It'll make a big splash at the box office, or my name is in Peter Parafox. Ah, action! Somehow, I don't think that's the break Papo was hoping for.
For the last time, someone get that zine-stealing, hair-brained hippo out of my studio! Oh! I think it's time to call it quits. I think it's time to call another studio. Achoo! But first, I've got to get into something dry. There's nothing worse than a hopopotamus with a head cold. <laughs> How exciting. A telegram from Bumble Lion. Dear Hoppo, we're all so glad you're such a success in Hollywood. In fact, since we're your biggest fans, Ella Rue, Butterbear, Rhinoki, and I are coming out to see you at the studio tomorrow. Hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like Hoppo's really up against the wall this time. Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. Hoppo was up against the wall. Do you think this will work? It's got to. I can't let all my friends know I'm a flop. We have to convince them I'm a star. A big star. Here they come. Okay, remember, just do everything the way I told you. Well, look who's here. Hey, Moosel, is that you? Where's Hoppo? In the bush. I, I, I mean, uh, she's bushed. Boy, they got her making movies day and night. Oh, can we see her? Impossible. She has a record to cut and a pizza burger commercial to make before tonight's premiere. But we drove all the way from home just to see her. Why don't you go on the Hollywood bus tour? It'll take you to all of Hoppo's famous landmarks. Good idea. See you later, Moosel. Okay, Moosel, let's move. Welcome to the famous Hollywood Wax Museum. These lifelike wax figures of well-known movie stars are a big attraction. And here, on our right, is that illustrious star? Hey, look, it's Hoppo. Hoppo? What happened to Squirrely McClam? Oh. Oh, I, I can't believe how much it looks like her. You think so? I don't think it's nearly big enough. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. We'll never get away with this, Hoppo. We have to. Come on. Here they come. You know what to do, Moosel. And over here, we got the beautiful home of that great international star. Hoppo Bottomus. Let's hear it for Hoppo. Yay! We'll be here any second. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. This should really convince them I'm a star. Well, quick, stick your head in. Here they come, Moosel. Hide. Look, everybody. That must be Hoppo's new movie. Wow. She really is a star. Where do we go now? The studio and fast. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I've got to get back to the studio before that bus does, or I'll be ruined. I've got an idea. This ought to do it. What? What are you doing? Don't worry, Hoppo. I'll have you out in a second. Brilliant, huh? Come on, let's go. And here we have the Power Fox Studio. Oh, Hoppo makes her movies here. I wonder what movie she's making now. Probably Son of Blubber. <laughs> oh, was it? We're too late. And we can't get in this way with Dogrilla over there. We'll have to climb the wall. Here, I'll push you up. <sighs> now, what about 
about me? Apple, you're in luck. I just came up with another brilliant idea. Climb on. I'll lift you over. I better floor it. Yay! What? What do you mean? Someone changed the billboard. We don't have a star named Hoppopotamus. You again. Security! Ah, ah. Say, Mr. Minabore, when can we see that famous star, Hoppopotamus? There's that name again. Who is she? Look, there she is. Don't let her get away! Ah, ah. Oppo, Oppo, it's us! Sorry, can't talk now. Those autograph hounds are after me again. Come on, gang. And stay out! Oh. Yeah! Hoppo, are you all right? Uh-oh. Looks like the gig's up. Hoppo, what happened? Why did they throw a star like you out of the studio? I guess I have to confess, I'm not a big star. But what about all those big parts you landed? The only thing I've landed is on this sidewalk. I wanted you to think I was a star to impress you. But, Hoppo, you don't have to impress us. We're your friends no matter what you are. Yeah, even if you are the biggest flop in Hollywood. Oh, who needs showbiz with friends like you? Well, we're back in Woods. But what's Hoppo doing back in showbiz? They're doing King Conky, one of my personal favorites. But where's Hoppo? Who needs Hollywood when I've got fans like you? Well, I guess Hoppo just didn't fit in Hollywood. But here in Woods, it looks like she's found a part she can fit into. Or at least a costume. Never fear, Dainty Bell. I'll save you, or my name isn't Buck Swashler. Well, here we are, watching our favorite hero, Buck Swashler. Wait a minute. Buck Swashler? Is this the Wuzzle? Am I narrating the right cartoon? Wait a swashle him, Buck. What a hero. Wouldn't you love to be a swashbuckler, Ellaru? Me? I couldn't swash my way out of a belt buckle. Oh, hurry, Buck. I feel a fighting spell coming on. And I feel a belching spell coming on. This show brings new meaning to stupid. Want me to change channel? Yes. No, wait a minute. Let's see if Miss Curly Lock breaks a nail. So until next week, this is Buck Swashler saying, there's nothing to fear when a swashbuckler is near. Or when a bumble swashler is here. Whoops, better make that stumble swashler. This looks like a job for bumble swashler. Don't touch that line, Musso. Why not? I just caught dinner. That Sharkosaurus will probably want you for dinner. Sharkosaurus? Oh, no. Lucky for you, Bumble Swashler is near. Okay, reel me in. Big deal. That's a minnow shark. Oh, yeah, but, but he'll think twice before messing with me again. Morning, Hoppo. What'll it be? The usual shampoo set and snout job? No, let's try something new. Something fun. But feminine. Gotcha. You want to look the rage. The Dainty Bell Makeover. <laughs> this Hoppo wants to be the potamus of high fashion. <laughs> Cancel the rest of my appointments. This is going to take all day long. Uh. 
Come on, little butter hopper. Don't you want to come home with me? Oh, the things I go through for my butter hopper collection. <laughs> There must be a lantern in here somewhere. Ah, oh, that's better. Yellow, what's up? Oh. Ah! oh, it's you, Bumble Lion. Oh, you sure gave this wuzzle the willies. Look out! There's a horrible dingbat behind you. But never fear, Bumble Swashler is here! For those of you who think the only dingbats in this show are Bumble Lion and Ellaru, allow me to explain that a dingbat is part dingo dog, part bat, and ugly all over. Did you swashle him? Yeah, he'll think twice before messing with Bumble Swashler again. I should have known. There's not a dingbat within a hundred miles of here. <coughs> oh, come on, don't cry. Them's folks are dingbats. And was I wrong or are they ugly? Hmm? Hello there, tall, dark, and fuzzy. Going somewhere? Yeah, over to Butterbear. Well, what's that little wuzzle got that I don't? Pumpkinberry pie. Well, he wuzzles. Hoppo, is that you? It's the new hip hoppo. Don't you think I look positively wonderful? You sure do. Where's the costume party? Oh, there you are. Here, let me help. I have one last basket of pumpkin berries out back. Then we'll have some pie. I can hardly wait. <laughs> from you. Hoppo, I'm telling you, your looks are a scream. <coughs> your little jest escapes me. <coughs> See, how'd you do that without moving your lips? But I didn't. Look! Help! Oh, help me! Poor Butterbear. Looks like she's got a one-way ticket to trouble. Well, when we left, it looked like things were up in the air for Butterbear. Those dingbats are taking Butterbear towards the terrified forest. Oh, no. Huh? Even Dainty Bell hasn't been in a jam like this before. Where is Buck Swashler when you need him? Buck Swashler? That's it. That's what? Wait. Bumbleine, what's gotten into you? Saving Butterbear, that's what. I've got to get to her before the evil vampire witch of the terrified forest does. Mm -hmm. Vampire witch? But Bumble Lion, it's so dangerous. Butterbear will be so grateful. She'll smother me with... Wait! This Hoppo's heading out with you. Why? I didn't get all primped and polished to let Butterbear steal the show. Look what you've done! Oh, who's this? I'm Butterbear. Oh, please don't hurt me. Butterbear? Oh, I sent you to the castle to get butterberries. Can't you dig back to anything right? Wait! Intruders in my terrified forest? Tie up the young pretty or put her in a stew. Then, after the intruders, you'll know what to do. <laughs> Vampire Witch's Castle, you're heading for trouble. I'm not scared. You should be. Who, who said that? 
we did. You'd better turn back. It's the safe thing to do. We would if we were you. This way, Hoppo. Uh, maybe you better wait here. I know what you're thinking, but I'm light on my feet. Not your feet I'm worried about. And one drop of shrinking vile tulip petal potion. <laughs> oh, hexes perplexes. I've tried and I've twitched. Oh, nothing comes easy for this vampire witch. <laughs> oh, Transylvia, what happened to your old magic? You used to crack a mirror at ten paces. Now look. Oh, you crack are bad poems. <laughs> What was that? No, oh, my pet Gorantula. Well, at least it was my pet until a spell backfired and turned it into a monster. The ungrateful critter took over my castle. Why don't you make a potion to reverse the spell? What do you think I've been making over there? Cockapoodle soup? Well, maybe I can help. I'm a real good cook. I don't need your help. But if you want to try. Don't even think of pulling a fast one, or I'll turn you into a tub fish! Surely you don't expect me to wade through that. I'll ruin my hoof cure. Okay, then you wait here. I'll rescue Butterbell. Uh, I mean, Butterbear myself. Butterbell? Over my dead potamus. Give me that whip, Bumbleion. I'm washing over there. I don't think it'll hold you, Hoppo. This is no time for fat jokes. I'll get over there just fine and dry. Oh, I look like Dainty Bum. But at least the whip didn't break. Have no fear, Hoppo. A Bumble Swashler is near. What would Buck Swashler do? The backstroke, butterfly, or freestyle? Wait, this is Bumble Swashler, and I can't swim. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Hoppo. Brother, can anything else go wrong? <laughs> Uh-oh, speaking of big mouth, look at the teeth on those piranha keys, and guess who they're looking to sink them into. Let's see, when last we left, Bumble Lion and Hoppo were about to become lunch for those piranha keys, and with Hoppo, they found a buffet. Yikes! Run for it, Hoppo, run! Bumble Lion? Does my snout deceive me, or do you smell what I smell? What, danger in the air? No, barbecue. 
is doomed. Yeah, it's hopeless. This vampire witch is packing up her warts and retiring. <coughs> Papa, look, the dingbats. <coughs> Did you hear what I heard? Butterbear, I think she's inside. What are we going to do? Just leave everything to Bumble Swassler. Butterbear, you're safe. We thought the evil vampire witch had you. And who do you think I am? The Tooth Fairy? <laughs> yeah, what was that? A giant Garantula in Transylvia's castle. Can't you whip up a potion to shrink it? Don't push me, Shorty. Oh, this potion just won't work without Butterberries, and they're out of season. Well, there are some. Where? I'll go get him. In the laboratory, in my castle. <laughs> I'm sure the Butterberries are still there. The other six guys I sent never came back with them. Go get them. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're the vampire witch of this terrified forest. You go get him. Me? Oh, no. I'm too afraid. A washed up witch. Bumble Lion, if we don't make that potion, that Garantula will grow bigger and take over the land of Waz. You're our only hope. All right, then. I'll go to the castle. I'll wrestle that monster. I'll get those butterberries and make Waz safe for Wuzzle kind. But there's one thing I need you ladies to do. What? what? Talk me out of this. <laughs> go! Oh, I hope he makes it back safely. He will, as long as he has his trusty Buck Swashler whip. Oh, my gosh. Bumble Lion, wait! Sheesh, isn't anything easy around here? I'll have to use my whip. Whip! I always say a swashbuckler can find a way. Quiet! I'm more potamus than you can swallow. Hope I find that laboratory before that Garantula finds me. Bumble Lion? Where are you? Oh, no. That must be the Garantula. his voice. The laboratory. Butterberries. You know of anyone who could use a second-hand cauldron? Aunt Sylvia, don't give up. The terrified forest needs a wicked vampire witch. So, if you know one, give her the job. I think it's time to give you a vampire witch once over. Oh, what's the use? Oh, I'm a flop as a witch, and to think in school I was voted homecoming scream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Now for the final touch. There. What do you think? Far out! Why haven't looked so hideous since the witches and warlocks prom? Hooray!
Sorry, the butterberries. Yeah! Who's that hideous, disgustingly ugly person? Ugh. Oh, you sure know how to sweet talk a lady. Transylvia, it's you. Thanks to Butterbear. Now, I've got to flash into a potion. Gee, you and Hoppo did a terrific job making... No, Hoppo went after you. Uh-oh, I better skedaddle back to that castle. Where is Bumble Lion? I've searched this creepy castle from crook to cranny. Now's my chance. Talk about a damsel in distress. Eat your heart out, Dainty Bell. <laughs> Dainty Hoppo is here. Bumble Lion, hail! Save me! Hey, 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 Hoppo! What's his trip? <laughs> Maybe I'm too convincing. Bug off! This is my big moment. Look, one damsel in distress at a time. Take a number. Be brave, Bumble Lion. What would Buck Swashler do at a time like this? He'd go to a commercial, that's what. No, I've got to rescue Hoppo. Look, Buster, I said. <laughs> Hoppo, Hoppo, wake up. <laughs> Come on, Hoppo, we've got to... We gotta get out of here. My face, the ugliest in the land, and this powerful potion in my hand. I'm off to the Garantula, that scuzzy foe. So move it, Boomerang Stick. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Eight army boots. Where am I? Uh, how did I get out of the castle? I rolled you. I, I mean, I rescued you. You mean you picked me up in your arms and carried me to safety, just like Buck Swashler did with Dainty Bell? Well, something like that. All this time oh. I've been waiting for my big moment and I slept through it. It was a big moment, all right. Well, another day, another rescue. Yeah, things are back to normal. Now I'm the only terrifying thing in the terrified forest. Oh, you're not so scary. Not now that we know you. Don't you dare tell anyone. Remember, I've got a potion with your name on it. Now, places, everybody. Hold on to your hats. Zippity doo dah and bippity poppity bats. With this magic jingle, I send you to home. Back to your loved ones and away from dumb poems. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and a good thing, because that blue one was more cargo than my boomerang stick can handle. Fear not, Dainty Bell. Buck Swashler is here. I've seen this show before. It's a rerun. Let's watch the baseball game. Touch that dial and I'll tie your tail in a knot. You mean you like the Buck Swashler show now? It's my favorite. And so concludes another episode of the Buck Swashler show. Whoop, did it again. The Bumble Swashler show. I mean, the Wuzzle. Don't I? <laughs> Nice to be back again in the wonderfully curious land of was, where never is heard a discouraging word. Ah, I thought you were taking me to lunch. I am, but the fun is in the getting there. Aren't these roller skis a scream? You took the words right out of my mouth. Look out! My appleberry cake! Hey, Bumble Lion, I was taking that cake to Hoppo. Don't worry, the Bumble Lion delivery service will take it to her. <laughs> Hoppo, heads up! Cake at 12 o'clock high! Hmm? 
room. No charge. You? Oh, that was close. Nah, a piece of cake. the brakes and my roller skis are totally trashed you break it you bought it i've got the skinniest piggy wallet in town if it helps you don't have to buy me the lunch you promised a promise is a promise, Ellaru. I'll just borrow enough money from Rhinoki. He's funny and always has money. Moo, I take your order. I can't decide. Oh, uh, maybe something light, like a, a taco turkey, fish fries, a burger dog, pizza getty. Hmm, let's see. A choco berry shake, mashed potato pie. <laughs> Say, did you hear the one about the guy who walked into an antique store and asked, What's new? <laughs> hey, Rhinoki, what's shaking? Not me. <laughs> Boy, you're the funniest guy alive, Rhinoki. I try to keep a handle on things. <laughs> Say, Rhinoki, old pal. Can you loan me some money to buy a new pair of roller skis? Sure, but my hands are dirty. Just reach into my vest pocket and take what you need. Gee, thanks. I knew I could count on you, Rhinoki. Gotcha again! <laughs> Here you go, Bumbleye. Thanks, Rhinoki. Are you finished yet, Elaru? Oh, yeah, finished. Now for dessert. Sorry, we're all out of dessert. In fact, we're all out of food. Then I'll take the check before he eats that. Wonderful. <laughs> That's all the money Rhinoki gave me. Oh, I'm sorry, Bumble Lion. Now my tummy is full, but your piggy wallet's empty. That means you can't buy new roller skis. I'm always broke. I want to be rich so I can buy things before I even want them. How about wishing for some money? Uh, that'll never work, Elaru. Oh, it can't hurt. Come on, make a wish. I wish I was rich. I'll be back to polish up some jokes on you later. <laughs> Off I go. Another passenger, another dollar. And at a dollar a joke, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> You should be happy, Bumble Lion, for you had the biggest half of the wishbone. A wishbone is just a silly superstition. Just because I wished for money, Ellaru, doesn't mean some will just drop out of the sky. Bumble Lion, are you all right? What, 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 what hit me? Just some money bags falling from the sky. Money, money bags, bags from, from the, the sky? sky? Boy, I knew that wishbone.
bone stuff was for real, I'm rich! Yahoo! Hmm. I've heard of pennies from heaven, but real. I just hope Bumble Lion doesn't spend that money, or his good fortune may turn out to be Rhinoki's misfortune. We'll soon find out. Why are we stopping at Rhinoki's house? To pay back the loan he gave me. I don't want him to think I forgot it now that I'm rich, rich, rich! <sighs> the things I put up with for a few bucks. I guess money never comes easy. Looks like Ranoki isn't home. Maybe we should come back. Nah, I'm not going through any more of his gags. I'll just leave the money in his mailbox. Looks like someone's in trouble. And I'll bet it's Rhinoki. He's probably guilty of assault with a deadly punchline. I'm telling you, I can't help you. Honest, I couldn't solve a jigsaw puzzle that only had two pieces. <laughs> oh, come on, give me a break. The joke wasn't that bad. I know the money was in your cab in bags just like these. So cut the wise guy routine. Cut it? But it's my best routine. Oh, you're a tough audience. Hi there, guys. What's in the bags, Bumble Lion? You have to know everything. Of course. Whoa! Wait a minute. You can't fool me. That's play money, isn't it? Nope. It's the real McCoy. And now I'm going to do all the things I've always dreamed about. Like what? Settle down with someone... <clears throat> Special? Uh, no, like, uh, like, like buy a yacht jet. Uh, a mansion in Wuzzerly Hills. Cruising the Wuzzle Beach. And think of the high-class, upscale friends I'll meet. And what am I, small change? There's nothing small about you, Hoppo. But let's face it. When it comes to money, some of us have it, and most of you don't. I think I'll let him have it. Now I know what they mean by stinking rich. Gee, Bumble Lion, I think you hurt Hoppo's feelings. Here, go buy Hoppo some flowers and sign my name to the card. She'll get over it. Boy, money sure is changing Bumble Lion. Okay, funny boy. We just got word that a big pile of money was found in your mailbox. What have you got to say now? I'll take three more mailboxes just like that. That does it. Oh, come on. I'm innocent. I've never stolen anything. Well, maybe a few jokes. Okay, one last joke. Uh, what kind of key goes in through a door but goes out through a window? I give up. What kind? A rhino key! Excuse me, but are you free? No, but I'm inexpensive. Well, I never... These your best roller skis? The best. They have soft shock suspension, hydroplane radial tires, with water and street grip brakes. They're the super duperest I've ever seen. Yeah, they are super, but I'm not so sure about duper. What do you mean? Well, now that my bank account has grown, so have my tastes. Yeah, and so is your head. Should I wrap these for you? Nah, forget it. Call me when you get the superest, duperest roller skis. I only buy the best. Here we go, Rhinoki. This will help you relax. Rhinoki, where'd you go? Psst, I'm up here. What are you doing up there? Trying to shed a little light on my problem. <laughs> 
This is no time to joke, Rhinoki. You're in serious trouble. Hey, what's the worst that could happen, huh? They'll throw me in jail, where I'll have a captive audience for my jokes. <laughs> you won't have any time for jokes. Why, you'll be worked to exhaustion. Work? Oh, no, not that. What, what, what am I going to do, Musu? Help me think. If the police see me, I'm finished. Wait, maybe I can disguise myself. Hey, a good idea. By the time we're done, you won't recognize yourself. Great! The unknown wuzzle! Well, Rhinoki, what do you think? Rhinoki? Come on out, take a look. It's safe. You're sure? Don't forget your accent. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, say, partner, you did a fine job making a banana loaf split of this cab. Well, uh, don't y'all think it'd be a little obvious riding down the highway in a four-wheel triple scooper? Don't worry. With a Wuzzleville parade coming up, we'll fit right in. Well, come on, then. Let's scramble them. I mean, uh, let's hit them up and move them out. Come on, Kai. Oh, yippee, yippee. <laughs> spends all of the bank's money, it'll take more than a costume to keep Rhinoki out of trouble. His next costume will have stripes on it. And then the little stinger had the nerve to say to me, when it comes to money, some of us have it, and most of you don't. That doesn't sound like Bumble Lion. Shh. Here he comes. Hi, kids. Say, does anyone happen to know what time it is? Why? Won't your watch give you the time of day? My watch? It's time to go shopping, Bumble Lion. Oh, so it is. Ta-ta, gang. Let's have lunch sometime. I'd like to take my lunch and dump it over his head. I sure don't like the new Bumble Lion. Maybe someone should tell Bumble Lion to buy back his old personality. I meant someone else. Hi, guys. Oh, we have something important to speak to you about, Bumble Lion. Yeah, I know why you're here. You do? Oh, good. Then you understand. You see, I told you Bumble Lion would come around. You need a loan. Don't be embarrassed. I remember what it was like before I came into money. I don't want your money. I want your old self back. Come on, Hoppo, let's go. No use trying to talk to Mr. Bumble Scrooge. What did she mean by my old self? Well, you are acting kind of different lately, Bumble Lion. I'm the same old Bumble Lion, just richer. <laughs> but you're not the same. The money has changed you, Bumble Lion. Naturally, but only for the better, Elaru. Better clothes, better car. I'd better go. Boy, once you've got money, your friends really change. Bumble Lion is a little confused. He's the one who's changed. Well, when we last left Bumble Lion, he was in the money but out of friends. I thought being rich was supposed to be fun, but it's boring without friends. They'll be back, all of them. I know it, I hope. It's the gang, I knew they'd come back. Hi, Musu, hi, Rhinoki. Well, how'd you know it was me? Who else would be dressed like that? The police are after him. They think he stole money from the bank. You mind if I come in? You gotta help me. Give me back the money I loaned you. Oh, no, you don't. I'm wise to your tricks. I already paid back the loan. 
I left the money in your mailbox. My mailbox? So that's the money the police found. Hey, where'd you get that much money? I thought you were broke. None of your business. And don't think you're gonna get any of it either. Wait a minute, I recognize those. They're bank bags. Give them to me. No, oh, no, you don't. I wished for them. If you want some, make your own wish. Okay. I wish I had one of these money bags. Now I'm being robbed. Friends like you, I don't need. Banana loaf splat! I hope this doesn't mean I'm all washed up. <laughs> I don't get going around the camp. You see, Bumble Lion? That must be how I lost the bank's money. When I hit that bump, the bags must have bounced out of my camp. Gee, Rhinoki, I feel terrible. I never meant to get a good friend in trouble. I've become really selfish, haven't I? Oh, I wouldn't say you were selfish, Bumbleion. I'd say, well, wonderful, terrific, sensitive, generous. Nope, selfish is the right word. You're right. I can't believe how I changed over some silly money. But I sure learned there's one thing money can't buy. Yeah, a decent photo on a wanted poster. No, good friends. What am I going to do? How can I get my friends back? All right, you refugees from the rinse cycle. It's all over for you. Wait, officer. We found the money missing from the bank of woods. Oh, yeah? There's a reward out for it, you know. A reward? Once Bumble Lion pays off his spending spree and demolition bills, I wonder how much money will be left. Gee, Bumble Lion, this is great of you to treat us to a party with the last of the reward money you got. I wanted to do something to make up for the terrible way I treated all of you. 
So, I hope you'll all forgive me. Of course we do, silly boy. What's this? Wow! New roller skis! But why did you get me these after I treated you so badly? Well, because we're your friends, whether you're rich or poor. Yeah, besides, they were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'll be right back as soon as I try these out. Well, here we are. Another happy, peaceful ending in was. Well, every ending can't be peaceful. Welcome once again to Was. From the looks of that squirrely bird, it must be that time of year again. See, on Was, when fall is about to arrive, the squirrely birds throw their nuts south for the winter. And if it's just about fall, it's time for... The Fall Fun Time Festival. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. What costume are you going to wear this year, Bumble Lion? Eh, something new, something original, something special. The old ghost costume, huh? Come on, let's go see if Mr. Pack Cat has any new costumes at the general store. Hi, guys. Looking for costumes, too? Yeah, something new, something original, something special. The ghost costumes are right over there. Okay, every wuzzle, tell me what you think. Great costume, Hoppo. A Loch Was monster. I'm supposed to be Tinker Wuzzle. Wow, Buck Swashler. I gotta have this costume. I'd be Ella Rue the smasher in this one. How much is it, Mr. Pat Cat? Mm. Are you flexible? I'm just an itty bitty short on cash. How much do you have? Well, let me see. 25 minus 4 plus 3 <laughs> subtract. <laughs> uh, nothing. Oh, darn. I wanted that costume so badly. And me too. Any brilliant money ideas yet, Rhinoki? Yeah! What if we all take a long vacation in Hawassi to think about how to make money? We want to make money, not spend it. How about you, Ellaru? Ellaru, what are you doing? Oh, just rummaging through my pouch, getting rid of a few things. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably. My head's a blank. Hey, let's have a rummage sale. We'll sell all this stuff in Ellaru's pouch. I figure if we sell all of these, we'll have exactly what we need to buy the new costumes. Terrific! are as good as pedal. Better make sure the merchandise isn't faulty. Mm, yummers! Pies for sale! Make your taste buds merry! Buy a chocolate cherry! Pies for sale! Okay, you guys ready? Places, here comes our first customer. You tired of paying Pack Cat's high prices? Then tell you what, welcome to Elaru's Pouchorama. We've got plastic pickle pears, appleberry glue, piano hearts, saddle blasters, open hoof shoes. Most fascinating. How about a toasting blender? Have we got toasting blenders? Does my face have a horn? Ella will give the pretty lady what she wants. Oh, uh, sorry, all out. Try Mr. Pack Cat Store. Next. Don't be bashful. Give your tummy a treat. Bye today. There 
They're delicious. Look. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Pies for sale. Please. Uncle, you sold all the pies. Oh, let's go buy the costume. Butterbeer, you didn't really want to go to the fall festival, did you? What are you trying to say? I ate all the pies. I couldn't squeeze into the new costume even if I wanted to. I mean, who cares about having fun? Oh, hi, guys. Did you make a lot of money? Nope. But we made a lot of enemies. We decided we didn't want to go to the crummy old festival. Costumes are silly anyway. Yeah, we think so too. We wanna go! Make way, make way, coming through. Oh. Looks like some wuzzle's moving into the old ground dog estate. Let's go find out who. Oh, you want to be? Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. Me, me first. Hey, come on. I want to see. Come on. Wow. I wonder what's in that strange crate. I want to know who's moving in. I am. Tycoon's the name. Making money's my game. No kidding. Are you in the bucks? Ever met a zillionaire before? <laughs> no, but I'd like to. Yeah, me too. Because that's what I want to be someday. Say, uh, Tycoon, what's in the crate? Oh, well, it's a secret. It's what's going to make me a zillionaire. Zillionaire, huh? I've got to know what's in there. I'm not leaving until I find out. He's opening the crate. Oh, what's in it? Let's see, let's see. Oh. oh, look, I don't believe. Oh. I wonder what's in the crate. I think I'd pay a zillion dollars to find out, wouldn't you? I'd bet my bottom dollar there's some great freight in that crate. Wow! What a tree for a shopping spree! Hey! What's the big idea snooping around my house? Oh, sorry. We just wanted to sneak a peek at your money tree. I've never seen one before. Where'd it come from? Well, I wheeled and deal for it. I'm a business tycoon, you know. And it's the only one in the whole was. Except for this money tree seed I have. You, you have, have a, a money, money tree, tree seed? seed? Oh, if we had a money tree, we wouldn't have to work so hard to buy those costumes. Yeah. You wouldn't want to part with that seed, would you, tycoon? Well, I do have the money tree. You'll have to make me an offer I can't refuse, though. Uh, I have a new bowling bat I could trade for it. Well, I've got something better. An exploding whoopee cushion. I'll give you season tickets to all my plays at the Was Theater. Nah, tell you what. Bring all your best stuff and I'll give the seed to the highest bidder. There are five Wuzzles here, but only one money tree seed. If my math's right, I'd say four wuzzles are going to be left out. Uh, base bowling ball, hockey puck mallet, a golf club racket. Imitation meat, rubber forks, fake hand itching powder, squirt glasses. Let me see, what'll I trade? A picture of me, a poster of me. This could go on all night. What do you say we speed things up and get on with the bidding, hmm? There, that's better. Oh, you want to be? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'll throw in my soccer mitt. I've got a telephonograph to trade. I'll top you with my walking, talking to me. Hey, today, gone tomorrow. Out of my way, out of my way. Big deal. I have billboards and boas. How about raspberry pickle ripple pudding? No, Nothing. No, no look at the typhoon. Oh, Mine's better. Hold it. If you give me all of this, the seed is yours. Well, if we all give you our stuff, who gets the money tree seed? Well, you can share it. Uh, 
Excuse us, Tycoon, while we, uh, confer. He's asking too much. Does he think money grows on trees? But, Hoppo, with a money tree, we could replace all the stuff we're giving away. We'll take turns picking money from it. After all, friends should share. There'll be plenty. Unless Hoppo goes grocery shopping. <laughs> okay, it's a deal, Tycoon. Where are we going to plant it? How about Butterbear's greenhouse? Boy, if anybody can grow a seed, it's Butterbear. Look! For the best caviar cupcakes, escargot furs. Hoppo, we agreed to take turns. All right, all right, but let's hurry and get on with the draw. Five. Ah, oh, just my luck. Last again. Oh, I'm number one. I get to pick first. So what are you waiting for, pal? Start picking. Oh, this should buy that costume I wanted. See you later, guys. Well, I'm number two. I can hardly wait till tomorrow. Huh. Guess I'll go window shopping for the next five days. This is gonna be the best costume ever. Thank you, Mr. Pat-Cat. <gasps> oh, this would look wonderful on me. Yeah, it filled that one out real well, Hoppo. I must have it. I'll ring it up for you. No, wait. I don't have enough money. Could you hold it for me? For five days? Uh, sorry, Hoppo. With the fall festival coming up, too many wuzzles will be wanting it. It's the only one. Tell you what. Hold it for one hour. I'll be back with the greenbacks. Wow! This is the niftiest kayak kite I've ever seen. On sale today only. And I can't pick the money tree until tomorrow. Unless... A spring-loaded scare face! Just what I've always wanted! <laughs> if you play with it, you pay for it. Oh, good idea! I'll be right back with the dough! It isn't my turn, but trees stay healthier if you prune them. Making more money, Alaru? Yeah. Nothing I'd rather do than spend my day spending money. Oh, no! Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, care to have your fortune stolen? Uh, I mean, your fortune told? How about if I had my palm read? Sure. Give me all your money. There. Your palm's red. <laughs> Next! A fortune, mister? No, thanks. I already have a fortune. You do? Of course. I'm the richest Wuzzle in Wuzz. Hmm, that Wuzzle and I need to get much better acquainted. Come on, goons. <laughs> Hot diggity! Or should I say, hot dig a tree? Don't just hang there. Fetch me a wheelbarrow. We're transplanting that tree to my house. <laughs> now, I know that Croc has no interest in plants. That isn't a green thumb he has. That's a greed thumb. They say nothing lasts forever. But this poor tree didn't even make it through the day. What happened? Did Butterbear's green thumb turn black? 
We got took, that's what. Let's go over to Tycoon's and demand our stuff back. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Tree. Yeah, no, we want our no, stuff back. Work. Hold it. I don't understand. My tree grows fine. Did you grow yours right? Butterbear grew it. And she could make cement grow. Did you prune it too much? Oh, no. I, I just took a few dollars. Well, I, uh, I borrowed a few, too. Let's see. An emergency did arise. And I recall some money leaping off the tree into my hands. See? You got greedy and killed it. Sorry, but that money tree didn't have a money back guarantee. Well, it's your fault. fault. Yes. It's not my fault. Bumbleine did it. Uh, what do you think, goons? <laughs> Brant's right. It's nice. But let's scram before they arrest us for trespassing. Relax, fly breath. Welcome to our new home. Take down the for sale sign, Brant. Huh? Yikes! My tree, it's gone! Those wuzzles aren't gonna get away with this. Hey, you guys! What's the big idea? We wouldn't be in this jam if the rest of you had waited your turn. Give me back my money tree. I don't have it. Well, some wuzzle took it, and I want to know who. Well, don't look at me. I'm not the greedy wuzzle. Wait a minute. What's Croc doing moving into a house on Easy Street? I'm beginning to smell a rat fink spelled C-R-O-C-K. Croc? But I thought he was the fortune teller. No, he's a fortune taker. And I bet he stole your tree. I tell you what. If you guys help me get my money tree back, I'll give you all your stuff back. Give us a second to talk this over. We'll do it. Let's make Croc wish he never had money. Just leave everything to us. What's that for, Bumble Lion? It's a phony oil detector. It'll convince Croc there's oil on his property. Are you for real? How's a dumb thing like that supposed to get back Tycoon's tree? Yeah, Hoppo's right. She knows a fat chance when she sees one. <laughs> Look, by the time Croc buys drilling equipment and tears up his yard without a drop of oil to show for it, he'll wish he never had money. Well, if it fails, don't say I didn't tell you so. Hey, Bumbleline, what are you doing on my estate? Surveying for oil. Oil? On my property? Wow! There's a gusher right where we're standing. I'd start drilling if I were you. This could make you a zillionaire. A, a zillionaire? Uh, I can't wait. Out of the way. I'm going for the black gold. <laughs> Tells me this is not an oil well. It's an ink well. It is a worthless ink. This is all your fault. But why me? Because it's always my sidekick's fault. I get this mess cleaned up. Any more brilliant ideas, Bumble Brains? This time, leave everything to Tycoon the Stocks Broker. Uh, operator? Operator, get me the stocks market. It's urgent. What? Stocks are up? Oh, darn. If only I had money to invest, I'd, I'd be a zillionaire. Huh? What's that? Stocks? Hey, will you scram? This is top secret besides you're rich already. Yeah, but money's like my appetite. I can never have enough. You wouldn't want to invest some money for me, would you? <laughs> no way. This is for big investors. No small-time operators here. I do everything big. 
Yeah, even his mother said he was the biggest fool she ever knew. <laughs> Like everything else here in Was, stocks are a little different. Stocks are part store, part odds. Think of a store that delivers trouble. Well, stocks are up. Not for long. Stocks are dropping. What in tarnation? Up in Hornswoggle. Stop that, you money hungry feathered freak. Sorry, stocks dropped. Listen, Pee Wee, your ideas have been nothing but trouble. That's what happens when you have money. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Yeah, he's right, Croc. Maybe we should give away that money tree. I'd sooner give you away. He still isn't going to give back my money tree. We'll do it my way this time. We're taking it back. Stop, you thieves. I stole that first. Give me that. Give me that. Out of my way, you feathered freaks. Brilliant, Hoppo. Got any more big ideas? Gosh, that's the second tree we've killed today. How sad. You want to know something sadder? This tree made us act just like Croc. Bumble Lion's right. We're friends in need who became friends in greed. Yeah, and I almost made enemies here instead of friends. I learned something, too. You can lead a snorse to water, but you can't get it to sit on a whoopee cushion. Uh huh? Uh -huh. I never was good at learning lessons. <laughs> Here are your costumes. I hope they're new, original, special. Not a ghost of a chance. <laughs> and here's one for you, Tycoon. Welcome to Waz. Well, we learned that these Wuzzles may not have the best costumes, but by being friends, they'll have the best time. Of course, we also learned the snorses don't sit on whoopee cushions. <laughs> uh -uh.